G Money. Yo. Man, we back again. Back at it, man. Hey. What's up? A couple of solid episodes, man. Yeah, that, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. You, you, want, you, want, you want to do the countdown like before? How, how we first started the. Uh, nah, the hell no. <laughs> we back. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, Joe Button, DJ Envy, Benzino. Benzino again. And I'm excited about this next guest, but we ain't going to introduce him yet. You all right? I'm good. I'm cool, man. Fresh off the birthday tour still. You know what I'm saying? Uh, DJ ain't crazy. You still celebrating the birthday now? Wow. Leo, Leo season. Oh, so so my birthday was July 29th. Yours was the 30th. So I guess I, a Leo too. I heard. No, we ain't talking. I'm, I'm hyping him. Are we allowed to celebrate the whole Leo season, or that goes against the parameters of of, of birthdays and zodiacs? It depends on how what type of person you are. If you want to celebrate the whole season, that's just, you know, July, August, we celebrate until the what 23rd, 24th. To <laughs> September. <laughs> Yo, we introduced you yet, bro. Please stay silent. Don't be rude. We know don't, where you're from. Show me yet. I'm you got a lot of gangsters. In, uh, <laughs> hey, but, see? My bad. I, I, I don't don't, little, don't right? hype him up. Don't I hype. I know you yeah. like it. Don't hype him. Leo you, season, don't. Yo, oh, you can talk to Jim. Nah, we're going to have fun today. I already nah, nah, I'm, no, 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 we not. Room. <laughs> you gonna have fun today, but I'm good, though. Everything good, man. Shout to, uh, shout to our guy Tiny. He came through. Visit us before. Facts, facts, vision. Vision Attire, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Vision Attire dot shop uh, forward slash for the yeah. website. Got some dope, some dope pieces for us. And all Shout out to him. Yo, I, I'm gonna thank you for bringing him. I haven't seen him in a long time. I went oh to God. elementary school. We used to fight over girls and stuff like that. It's good to see him. Uh, in, in he was the space. first dude. I, I said it off camera, but he was the first dude I seen doing the Harlem Shake. I'm yeah. not from Queens, but I we went to high school together. He the first dude I seen doing the Harlem. My Shake man Shikani. You know, His like name is Shikani. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shikani Tiny T Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how I go. But let's get straight into it, man. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm hype. Because you think that he's going to talk, he can give me a run for my money, right? That's yeah, what you like to hear. A little yeah. bit, a little bit. And, you know, I, I, I've, I, you know, I met him before a couple years years back, a long time ago. Uh, I did an event for him, actually, in the city. Oh, really? So I haven't seen him since then. So, you know, we got to rekindle that and chop it up. And then he, New York City, he's in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Brooklyn. Flip Hayden. Yo, <laughs> we didn't introduce you yet, bro. I'm going to let you wait. Just hold on. Let us do the introduction. Damn. It got to be a Brooklyn. Person to do that, yeah, yeah. Take it, yeah. You got no ice. That's what you got no ice. If you don't know how to cool down. <laughs> G money, yo. Episode two oh seven. Oh, they get money over here. Well, hold on, he gotta wait. He gotta <laughs> wait. Why you doing? He gotta wait. He won't stop. Tell him stop. Tell him stop. <laughs> Don't, don't you talk here, to my boy. friend like that. I know what the episodes mean. Yo, boy. chill out, <laughs> man. All right, my bad. All right, I'm gonna shut up, Flip. G Money. Yo. Episode 207. Nigga, nigga we, we made, made it. it. We got oh, a special man. guest. Special guest. My man. <laughs> on the couch comfy. It took about four years to get him here. <laughs> Every time I hit him up, he wants to talk about pranks and skits, and I ain't playing flip. It takes a Brooklyn person mm-hmm. to threaten you while you're trying to convince them to come on your show. Mm. Why? Round of applause. Brooklyn's in the house. Uh-huh. My man. Heavy. I gotta say something? No, you gotta wait. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> yeah. He's ready. How do you take the intro from me? <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't even clapped. say your name. You took it. Brooklyn, take it. My man, Lil C. Yeah, 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 yeah. We in the building. I right, stop. Me and Caesar Leo. Well, feet dangling. <laughs> What's up, Caesar? How you feeling, nigga, man? But I'm a big nigga at heart. A little nigga. How you feeling, Caesar? I feel good, man. I'm blessed to be here. Welcome, welcome, He's man. Been, my man Flip been harassing me for four years. Not really. <laughs> mm-hmm. He was just never on schedule and never on time. Mm. I'm here. Can you please, my like, brother like, like, though, from back, my brother, he did, he, he said that he did one of my first events for Letter the Big. Letter the Big, uh, um, video how, how about you turn the mic in front of you so you can talk in the mic? Be okay. a professional. There we go. There You're we professional. Go. Oh man, mic right here. Dude. <laughs> I'm watching the levels. <laughs> how you doing, C's? What's going on, man? What's up, baby? How you feeling? Thank you for pulling up, man. I had man, to. I appreciate you, man, for real. Seriously, I had to. man. You know, I respect you and I appreciate you and I love you. You know, you're my brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, you showed me a lot of love, man. It's been a long time, a long, long time, man. You don't do nothing to grind me ass skits with me. You don't rough me up. We well, I'm not trying to because you got that. We... He brought a nigga in here named Brooklyn Flip and threatened me. I got Brooklyn <laughs> niggas here. They come here. It's tough. They don't want to say hi. They don't want to shake my hand. Me, <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? How you doing that? Like, the ladies was amazing. Nice ladies women. Yeah. But the guys were... 
One they me out, I had to punch you in your neck. Like, what's up with all that talk? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why did you do that? I'm uncomfortable here. You're not. This is your place. How you are comfortable? Got you you. flip the script anywhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, we're just trying to match your energy. That's it. No, mm. my, oh, I'm, well, my energy is, I, I come in peace. It's peace and love, and you're on a great block, too. Thank you. Let's mm. talk about the block, please. They don't know where we at, please. I just said you're on a great block. They could, yeah, please. I didn't tell them the address. I just said you're on a great yeah. block. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. You said you. We'll make man, sure so it's a happy ending when we leave here. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, so, so let me make a call. Hold on, let me get this mm, thing real quick. Cause he think he, I got him. I know you see. What is what, what is a happy end? What is a happy ending? Huh? That's a real That's question. A, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, hey, wait. Happy, what's a happy ending? You never been to what's, the. You must say. Ask him again. You, you ain't never been to the spot. They, they, no. You had a happy ending before. I'm just asking you. Have you ever been to the spot? <laughs> Obviously, I have not. I'm a married man. I respect my family. I am not into those salacious activities that you and this man and probably those other two men are into. Because <laughs> they, they, they know what, it, what is the happy ending. That's, that's when you go get a massage. and That is know. illegal. That is illegal. <laughs> and, is illegal. And when you want to hear your last favorite song, singing karaoke, they give you a happy ending. It's a happy, it's on your way out. Mm. You, know, you don't start. It's on your way leaving. Hands? Strictly hands. Mm. It's nothing but hands. Do so you know about that, G? I heard about it. Don't you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fire, I heard, okay. I heard about it. I heard about it. You know it. what? Great block. I'm going. Let me tell you. It's my I birthday can't. month. Mm. I ain't say no more. All right. Yeah, G. Actually, get straight to it because he's going to keep going. <laughs> if we don't control it, he'll keep going. Yeah. Caesar, what's up, bro? So let, let's, let's go back, man. You know, up here at the Flip the Script Podcast, we'd like to take, take our time and. And uh, get the history, you know what I'm saying? So let's go back. Obviously, everyone knows, or they should know, Brooklyn. Brooklyn born, born and raised. Mm -hmm. What part of Brooklyn, exactly? What block you was born on? Um, St. James and Fulton. And uh, back in them time in the 90s, where it was very, like, you know, treacherous waters and grimy. Mm -hmm. Now it's very gentrified and different. So it's Clinton Hills now. But right, right. when me and B.I. and the Mafia grew up there, it was still considered, like, best style. Gotcha. But we've always been... The start, but we, we're Clinton Hills, and that's still been our, you know, our birthplace, and that's where I'm from, St. James and Fulton. What was it like on that block growing up? Like for those who who tuned in from like West Coast and Midwest and down south, like you know, take us to that block, take us to, you know, your childhood. You about you know whatever five, six, seven, eight, growing up, running around the streets, like. You was that I mean, it, 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 it was the neighborhood. You got to think about back in them times of the '90s, you know, mm -hmm. before you know. It's very hard to talk about. The era back then now with social media because everything is just so like this is how it is now so the right. kids might not be able to <laughs> tap in to how it was then without a phone or imagine growing up and living how we was living in the 90s without no laptop no ipads and no cell phones no iphones and no droids imagine that fact. you outside all day now that's a fact you outside you really like just breaking day sitting on top of garbage cans sitting on crates we in front of the corner store that stay up for 24 hours mm -hmm. You know, you on the block and you 13, you 12, you, we was breaking day and cutting school since we was like <laughs> nine, 10 years old. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, you know, real shit. I signed my first record deal when I was 15 years old. So I was outside. I was active early. Mm. So it was just a whole different dynamic and you had to really be outside to really learn life, to experience life, to see things. And, right. and um, you know, that's one thing I was blessed about to actually see the world before it was what it is what today. Is now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know. It's very artificial today. You know what I mean? We, like, we was on the real turf in the 90s. Like, <laughs> yeah. things really happen and you really see things happen. And you don't have no pictures, no, no face, no case. We don't have nothing to talk about, none of that. Because it was just a very different situation. But it was just uh, some of my best moments of my life because that was like the, you know, just my, that was the real of everything for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And everything I was around and a part of. And I, I just grew up fast and I saw a lot of things and I'm blessed for it. Tell us about your, 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 who did you live with? Like mom, dad, both parents. Like what, what was the? Nah, um, from from when I was old enough to realize, oh, when I was to see what was going on, mm -hmm. it was just my mom's dead. But my pops, I kept a close relationship with my father. God bless the dead. Okay. You know what I mean? He passed away ten years ago. Right, you know what I mean? Years. But I always lived with my moms. You know what I mean? And they were right. split by the time I was old enough to realize what was going on and active, and my brain was working. He wasn't living with my moms. 
Mm-hmm. I was with my moms and my, my four sisters and my brother. You know, it was six siblings for my mother and father. I also got four more siblings for my father, which is still that. I don't believe in half and half. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, you have brothers. That's my, that's my family, too. Like, it's my sisters and brothers. It's just for my father and not my mother. You know what I mean? So I, I grew up very regular. I grew up with four mo- five mothers. Outside of my mom's, my sisters were my mothers, too. You know what I mean? They would get up and take me to school, braid my hair, because I had long hair when I was like three, four years old. I had braids down to my back. So all my sisters were different days would braid my hair, take me to school, take me shopping, take me to go do this and that when my mom's couldn't do it because she was outside doing what she did, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I grew up and I was very close, tight-knit with my family. And to this day, we all like that the same way. I'm very close and my family is my family, you know what I'm saying? What, like, what's, what's your ethnicity? Like, what's the background? Is she... Black, any Caribbean? Nah, no Allen, nope. We all okay. black American, all Got my it. family, okay. no Allen. We not in mixed. Brooklyn? Yeah, in Brooklyn. My mom's is from Birmingham, Alabama, and my father's from Greenville, South Carolina. Oh, okay. South, okay. You know I mean? So, yeah, they all Southern, but both of them moved to New York when they was young. You know what I mean? Like, they all, my mom's moved here when she was, like, about, like, 12, 13 years old. She lost, her, she lost both of her parents young, so I never met my mother parents so right. i don't i don't have no grandmother intellectual so mm. i envy people that got they g moms or they g pops because right. i i didn't grow up with that because before i was even born i didn't you know all my grandparents passed away mm. you know what i mean so i didn't get a chance to share that part of of my life was you know get a chance to vibe with my mom moms or her father and my father moms and all of them passed away before i was even born mm. so i didn't get a chance to do all that that's why I like to stay close knit to other families, and I have other mothers and other grandmothers and grandfathers and all that because uh, you know, the things I kind of missed out on, I kind of share that with other people's experiences. Like my boy right here, I go see his grandma because mm. mm. she embraced me. My boy right here, I, we go to we go to Marlboro Projects. His mom lived in Mar, his grandma lived in Marlboro Projects in Coney Island. And he pulled me up there what, what last week, two weeks ago when I was here in New York last time. And we go sit, and I go sit with his moms and. You know, sit with her, eat, chill. And he's Spanish. He's Dominican. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Whole different type of, you know, you know, lifestyle. Different culture. Lingo, that, yeah. yeah, different culture. But, you know, that was something I missed out on. And that's just something I'd be trying to just, you know, I want to feel that. I want to know how that feels like. You know? Right, right. I want to experience that because I didn't get to do that with my fan. What was your childhood like in the home with all those siblings? Like, what was it like? How old is your older sister? My oldest sister be 59. Oh. On uh, November 26th, she be 59. Okay. And my youngest just turned 48. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like, yes. And I'll be 45 August 20th in, in like two weeks from now. So I guess the oldest was, was basically raising you in a way. Yeah, mom, if yeah, mom was yeah, outside. Yeah. But she was she wasn't like my mom's though. She was the first one I could go out there and do everything with. First time I hustled, I came in the crib <laughs> drunk and dropped a bunch of crack all through the floor. And she found it. She didn't even tell my mom. Woke me up the next morning. It was like, Yo, listen, if you're going to do this, talk to me about this. Because I know about it. You know, your mom, you know. And she was just kind of schooling me and letting me, like, kind of learn on my own. But, like, when I slipped, she would check me about it because she, she was already out there. Experienced things, seeing things. And she was seeing I was trying to dip and dab and try to get out there in the streets like that. And she was like, nigga, you ain't got it right yet, little bro. But I'm going to show you how to. If that's what you're trying to do, I'm going to show you the right way or how to do it. Or at least the safest way or how to do it. And mm-hmm. I'm to get back to your mom's because she's going to kill you. But this is sis talking to me, my oldest sister. And she knew she couldn't stop me from doing it. She knew I was very influenced. And, you know, I was just, I was, I was caught up in what was going on. I was a young kid. You know, I'm just trying to follow suit and, you know, doing all that type of shit I was supposed to do as a kid. You know, you got to learn and go out there, be messy, make mistakes. And, you know, mm-hmm. I was out there doing that. So what made you, you know, start start getting in the streets? Do you, do you feel like it's because uh, the environment, or do you feel like it's because your pops wasn't there? Do you feel like just your friends was involved? You wanted to get involved with them, or like what what kind of made you start your initial hustling? I was trying to be down, really. You know what I mean? Like I knew it was something that wasn't me, but it yeah. was just that you know, all my friends was doing that, and all my friends was like two, three years older than me. So I was just trying to just like I was trying to be down. And not really that. It was just part of the environment, really. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Like if I, you know, my friends and them is buying sneakers and, and buying stuff, and my moms can't afford to buy me that. And 
my little my homeboy is like, yo, listen, you could, you want to help me knock this shit off right here, this little bomb right here? Mm. I give you thirty five off this honey pack right here, and we can knock four of those off every day. Then I make me a hundred dollars. I can go buy my own sneakers now. Right. I can go buy my own outfit. Now I'm going to the crib and buy my mom's groceries now and all that. And at, and at this time, pops, when would you see him? Like, would it be like every other week, every weekend? Like, oh, oh no, nah, my pops was always active though. Like, we, he just ain't live with us, but he was still come around. My pops got was it. a God, I can see it. You know what I mean? Like, he was still my pop was still moving around. He was a hustler. He was still moving around, but my pops went from hustling. The same shit he was selling, then he got addicted to that same shit. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Around the time he got addicted to the drugs and all that, I was already became a rapper. So where now, I was already like kind of taking care of my pops and trying to get him off the streets. Like, yo, bro, this ain't. But how do you tell your pops that? You know what I'm saying? How you, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. but my pops always been my father. You know what I mean? I was always, I always learned to be a very respectable man. That's how I was raised to so like, yo, no matter what your parents going through, that shit. That's your pops, and that's your mom's, no matter what it is. What 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 position does that put you in, though? Because I hear a lot of people that family um, succumb to drugs, and, you know, some people outside, and they see their parents or their family outside, like, Mm -hmm. why are they outside moving and shaking? Where does that put you in mentally? If, I don't know if you saw your father. Did you, did you know he was on drugs? Did you have to find out because somebody put you on? Hell did you no. see him? Like Hell no. I knew when my father was getting high. You, you knew how you knew you that? You know when. Come on. I mean, don't say, I, come on with that old school. <laughs> I, you know, uh, did you see him? Nigga, somebody you, had to tell you. Somebody had to put you on. No. I could People just don't tell, even know that. See, stop. Uh, listen, listen to me. You're not, you're not listening. You, can know, you can't tell when your father, the body changed. You can That's just tell when right. they... I apologize. Come on, bro. Yes. How you? Are we, are we talking from the same language? Are we right. from the same place? No, you're right. Are we not? No, because I know a lot of times people find out a different way. Oh, no. I can tell when my pops was doing something, but I didn't care about that because at the end of the day, that's my father. Respect. He could do whatever he wants to do. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It's not my job to be his father. At the end of the day, he my pops. I don't like what he's doing, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, and that's what you want to do. That's what you're going to do. But I start to be naive, and, and I start to be me and go, you know what? Being that you're doing that, I'm going to get high right now at 13 and 14. I dare you say something to me if you see me doing it, because mm. you're doing this. You know what I mean? It became one of those. I just became like, you know, I was just like that. Like, all right, fuck it. You're doing that. But at the end of the day, I would never question my father. That's, a, that's my pops. I'm very respectful, but that's your thing. That's a difficult. Isn't that isn't that difficult though? Sees in your mind. Oh like, yeah, it is. Do you, think you, it, do you ever think in retrospect, like I could have said something early or, or talked to him or tried to? Or I you, did or, say stuff to my. I used to tell my yo pops, I don't like that. And every guy, every nigga in my neighborhood knew, like yo, bro, my pops had to go buy that shit twenty blocks down. You gotta go somewhere else. Niggas knew from my neighborhood. Do not give that shit to my pops. Not in front of me. No nothing, but as a son, I had to let my pops like, yo, listen, that's what he do. That's my father. He's a grown ass man. He made me. I'ma tell him what not to do. I don't know what my pops going through. I don't know what's in his head. I don't know what he been through, what he traumatized by, whatever, but pops, that's what you wanna do. I think it's corny. And that's me telling him that when I was 15, 16. Yo, you doing that shit, that shit whack. But you still my dad. You still my pops. Don't buy that shit around me. Don't buy that shit in my neighborhood. You got to go 30 blocks down, nigga. You got to take a train, two buses. You, you ain't getting it here. You're not going to do that in front of me. Got it. You get what I'm saying? That's how I had to be with my pops. Once I came responsible and became a man at 15, 16, I was making my own money. I was out of my house at 16. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was already on the road at 13 with Big. Like, dog, I'm out. Right. I'm coming back home giving my mom's bread. I watched the interview and it said that you knew Kim before Big. Yeah. At, what, at what age? Shit, Kim, Kim was best friends with my youngest sister. They went, they went to junior high school together. So me and Kim used to be in the crib when I was six years old. Like, Kim be on that side of the bed, and I'm like this on this side of the bed. We, we move each other's feet. Yo, move, move, nigga. Move your feet. Your feet in my face. Type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because she was closer with my sister. And whenever she used to go through stuff with her family, we lived on the same block. She lived just three blocks down from me. So now we used to have issues, and she go through stuff with her moms and pops, brothers, and she would come down the block and, and be with my sister. And that's how I knew her from that. Mm. She was best friends. with Her best friend is my youngest sister. They went to junior high school together. 
high school. That's how big knew she rapped because my sister went and told Big that. And this is how all that's how all that came about with me and her. Mm. Wow. Do you see any any signs at that age? I, mean, I don't know if you can think that far back, but do you see any signs of Kim at that age, like being Lil Kim, the rapper, like or anything, or, or was she just regular Kim? She was just y'all yeah, was just kids playing around. Nah, very regular. We didn't. We never thought. I never thought we'd be sitting here talking about this type of shit right now. Like, we didn't think that. Yeah. Not even with Big. Like, this is nothing that was like not in the play. We wasn't sitting on the block saying, "Going, yo, we gonna be large. We gonna be big. Shit gonna be popping." Like, we were just sitting out there, like, all right, if this shit worked with Bi, right, then it, it's cool. But we ain't think it was gonna happen the way it happened. We right. didn't think I was, we gonna be sitting here like talking about Bi as one of the greatest rappers of all time. That's my greatest rapper of all time. I'm gonna fuck with nobody say. Right. He's the goat of all this shit. Not debate with any nigga today about that shit. Hmm. Do you remember how you met him? Hell yeah. I got hit by a car two days before I graduated from public school. He gave me five dollars before I went to school. <laughs> Cause he felt bad for me. He saw me with my gray suit on. I had crutches. Cause I, I hit by a car two days from my graduation for graduating from public school. And I was crutching through Fulton Street going to my public school. He was like, what's up, little nigga? What happened? I was like, I got banged. He was like, I hit by a car. He was like, you good? I was like, nah, I ain't good. I was always ask niggas for money. Young nigga asking every nigga that sold drugs on Fulton Street, yo, give me $5, $2. Yo, buy me something from the store. B already knew. He was like, yeah, hey, you straight, little nigga? You good? You want something? Gave me five dollars, and that was my first like really like introduction to, like my first like real introduction of I knew who he was. You know what I'm right. saying? Like just by coming on the block, going to the store all the time, seeing them out there hustling at 14 and 15. You know, we five years apart. So if he mm -hmm. if he was out there at 17, I'm 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? Or he out there at 12, 13. I'm five, six years old, walking through the neighborhood, seeing them outside. Right. You know what I mean? And um. That's kind of like it was our first introduction right there. He gave me like four or five dollars. Like, yeah, hey, buy you. You know, we used to go to school at lunch, and you could mm -hmm. go, you could buy you some candy outside of eating the regular lunch shit. You know, they they selling the little candies over there. Yeah. This when you knew all the kids that had some money in school, cause they got the money to go buy them Kit Kats and Skittles that they selling the shit and all that. I wasn't like that, but I would go through the block and all niggas that sold drugs that was out there hustling would give me money before I walked to school. So I had to walk through that strip to go to my public school. Mm. And that's how that happened. What school was that? PS11. PS11. Yep. I He's lived like two blocks from that school. <laughs> yeah. PS11, <laughs> dog. So, mm. yeah, my fault. Now, so Big was that guy then. Like, everyone know at that time, they, they knew who B.I.G. was. Mm. They, he would just had that aura, that energy, that swag. You said he was hustling, doing his things. So everyone in the neighborhood knew who he was. Yeah. Including, including you. So you seen him that day. It was like, oh, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This before rap though. Right, right. This before even rapping, before we knew he rapped. He was rapping at that time, but nobody knew that. You know what I mean? Cause he always kept that, he wasn't even putting that shit out there to the world or to the neighborhood or none of that. So none of us knew that. Mm. I'm just talking about the nigga that was out there getting money. Right. Just hustling on the block type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't, nobody was in tune to know him. He, he's been rapping since he was 13, 14. You know what I mean? Like he's been doing that shit for a long time, but he just never exposed that shit to the, to the team. and into the hood. So none of us knew that right. at that time. But that's how long he been rapping though, since then. You know what? You you going outside at a young age and being on tour on a young age, what does that do to your mind? Like I'm pretty sure, leave it up to you, you were smashing at a young age, yes? <laughs> Let's get to it, yes? You were, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was doing a lot yeah, of Yeah, I know, shit, I know, grown. Super active. Uh, I've let been me active out here for a long time. Let me and let me ask you a question. They, it wasn't girls. Your, I, I assume it wasn't girls your age. Definitely not. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I've been molested wild times. First of all, let's be. I've been molested wild times, my nigga, and not molested like I've been taking advantage. Of. I've been sleeping just with older women for a long time. When I was Tell 14, me how the first one happened. When I was fourteen, <laughs> I was knocking down shit that was 21, 22, 23. So I'm did you? I'm thirty. Do, I, I didn't know that that was the rules, did it? As a kid, like, yo, nigga, they molested you. I'm like, really? I had a great time. <laughs> These are women. Did you, I, did, you, you, did you lose, pause, your V card to an older woman or... or, or, or nah, nah, nah. Man? I got right with 
junior high school shit oh, first and all that. Like, nah, nah, run, nah. Like, I did the right way. Oh, I'm a stunt look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, did, I did the right way. You had to crawl before right? you run. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Okay, nigga, okay. High school, junior high school shit. Nah, I humped and humped my way to to reality. Yeah, you know, I humped my way through some shit. Boom, boom, boom. Then once I got with B, I we start traveling somewhere. I wasn't a young kid. So now I would be on the road with him. I didn't go downstairs in my room and play PlayStation and play games and shit, my nigga Super Nintendo. Now I'm upstairs popping crystal, rolling up blunts, and I'm with the older guys. I didn't act like a, I wasn't a young nigga. Niggas didn't treat me like a young nigga. B.I. didn't treat me like that. No, nigga, he's like, you know, this little nigga's a grown ass little nigga. Yo, nigga, put the games in the bag, nigga. Don't worry about that. Come, where the crystal at, yo, little nigga? Where them, where them chicks at? Yo, go grab them upstairs. You got weed? No, oh, nigga, I was very active, young. Super what made, active. I just said, what made him take, like, you, you went on tour starting at, what, 13, 14, you said? Yeah. What made him take you on tour with him? I, I, I was willing to listen. I just think I was, out of all my little homeboys and all our, all my brothers I, I grew up with, I was the only one I just felt like he felt like he, I, he could talk to. I was reachable. Like, he, I was one of the guys he could sit down and be like, your little bro, that ain't you. And I'm like, you right, that ain't me. You think so? Yeah, that ain't you, little bro. And I'm going to show you. And he was just like, that's kind of like how he grabbed me up out of everybody. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing that was planned. He just did it. I don't know why. To this day, I'd be like, Yo, I don't even know why he even snatched me up like that. But I just felt like I was, uh, I was just very, I knew how to operate. I knew how to stick to the code. I knew how to stay to the plan. He just knew, like, this nigga know how to talk. He know not to blow his cool. Mm -hmm. You know, not to try to be down or be like super. I was very just according to the plan because I was all about him. I'm not going to make you look crazy, my nigga out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you say to do, I'm going to do it. I wasn't a robot, but I just knew how to make it work. Right. I was a team player. This shit is going to work. <laughs> I had common sense like that, and I just think that's just something he kind of just took into me. Like, all right, out of all my little niggas, little nigga, he got it. Mm -hmm. He know it. The more he kept me around, the more he was just feeding me how to navigate and how to work. And Wait, but how did you and B.I. Uh, build that rapport? You know what I'm saying? You said you met him first, give, give you the bread. But after that, you guys, like, did you go check him and you hung out or, like? I used to get, always try to be on, I used to always try to be outside, right? When he was, when he first started going to North Carolina to hustle, you know, he was, you know, this when they was really getting money. Him, D-Rock, you know, everybody was, like, just to run around out of town. And I just always want to go with them out there. Like, yo, let me, you know, because it's like, you know, the little guy used to do all the, put in the little work. When we used to go mm -hmm. uptown, let's go cop work. they would take the little niggas with them, go on to the store. You go get the work. You walk down the block, go get on the train, go take that back there, we'll meet you there. That's shit we used to do as kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's all he let me do. From there, I said, yo, let me go out to town with you. He's like, yo, I'm going to take you next week. I'm going to take you next week. I'm going to take you this week. I'm going to take you that week. Never let me do it. Never. He'll let anybody else go with him. Anybody else. He said, yo, nah, you're not going with me. Like, all right, I got you. But he'll never say that. But he's just always just like, nah, next week you won't go. Nah, ain't no room in the car right now. Ain't no room in the car right now. I just always felt like he did that to really just kind of like, nah. Like, I'm going to do something different for him. But the very minute he started getting on with music, I ain't miss a beat. Mm. I've been to every promo tour, promo album, anything you call it, I was there. I just felt like he seen what it was and he was just trying to really just like, all right, I'm a, out of all my little niggas, he's the only one I feel like I can get to like, like that. Like, everybody else good. He gonna let everybody else do them, but I just felt like he, I don't know why, he was just saving something or just like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna keep him close right here. Cause I got something else playing for him, and he just knew where my heart was. I was just very, since a kid, I just knew what it was with him, and I was very devoted to that. Like I really, I really loved him, and I fucked with him because I, I was a fan outside of the music shit. Like, imagine a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a little nigga, dog, and he's he's building that buzz and all that. And out of all the little nigga, he's he's calling the 13 yo, calling my mom's crib. Yo, where Warnie at? That's my nickname. Yo, where Warnie at? Where, where little nigga at? Yo, tell him to come up the block. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit used to, you know, that shit used to make my day as a young kid. He like, used to call like, you what? Warnie. That was my, that's my middle name. Okay. Well, you know, that's my nickname. Niggas from the hood used to call me and shit. Like, before, gotcha. this before C's. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Before like, huh? rapping and all of that shit. Like, right, right. he would call my house. This is house phone type of shit. You know, that wire that go under there? 
And that wire that go through every room, mm-hmm. we all share that one phone. Yeah, that type of shit. And uh, he used to always just make sure, like, he treated me, like, always, like, I was just, like, more than what I was or older than what I was. You know what I'm saying? Different shit. Flip, when don't get things- emotional, nigga. <clears throat> huh? Nothing. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm thinking about things because at a young age, that means your life changed drastically. Yeah. You were witnessing things, man. I mean, you, you know... First of all, before we get into the, you know, I, I'm gonna ask the questions. School was what? Did you ever go to high school? I left school on my way to the tenth grade. What school you went to at first? Sarah J. Hell, and I got kicked out before Christmas vacation. You got expelled, or you got suspended, and chose not to go back. I got kicked out before. What's what's the Christmas vacation? December, right? Yeah, we yeah, you know. School started September back then, September 9th. I got kicked out my neighborhood high school before Christmas. And then I went to Washington Irving for about two months. Got kicked out of there. And they sent me to a school called Wildcat Academy, which is on Canal Street. And it was on the fifth floor with like 90 kids. I know about And that. it was from nine to five. It wasn't even at three o'clock. Got kicked out of there because they put me on detention one day and I had to stay till five and I left at two. So what do you mean you got kicked out? Expect what you got kicked out for? What the first school? But, but my thing, I don't Sarah want- J. I got kicked out there because I pulled out a house knife in school. Ah, you got expelled. You got expelled because yeah. you know, all the boroughs used to be beefing in, in the school at that time. Brownsville is beefing with East New York, and East New York beefing with Best Buy. <clears> and this is my first year in high school, right? You know what I mean? So all the shit used to go down in school. I'm here. I used to I used to cut school and go to the high school. With, all, with Nino Brown and all my other friends that was older than me already from the group. Like, cause I was the youngest one. So I missed everything with them. We all two years apart. So we didn't go to, we didn't do junior high school together the two years. And so I used to go hang out, cut school at junior high school and go hang out with them. Then when I first got in school, high school was different. Like yo nigga, every day, everybody might not pull up in school. And I used to always take a house knife to school. And one day some shit went down the hallway. I pulled out my, Big ass kitchen knife, big, big shit with the handle on it. I didn't stab nobody. I just waved it. I was just bullshit. Ah, ah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I got kicked out. So I got kicked out of my, my home school, neighborhood shit. Went to Washington Irving. That was in the city. I had to get on the train every day. I just stopped going to school at that point from there. They kicked me out of there. For and attendance. Attendance and one fight. Not no real fight, just. But the knife, again, you know, I made mean, uh, uh, So you I, bought a I, knife I, twice at diff- two different schools? Yeah. <laughs> a kitchen knife? Yeah, kitchen knife. Not, so, even, so not I, even a banger knife. Not even one of the, it wasn't one of the, It was straight house. So shit back in grab the... Grab out the... Shit you grab uh-huh. out the drawer, like, type of back shit. Back in the like, 90s, they'll kick you out easy. Yeah, fast. So they didn't suspend you for a couple of weeks and call your parents... Have the meeting. They didn't do none of that. Yeah, nah. you was expelled on them. Please don't. You know, don't don't add don't add extra sauce. I'm not adding no extra. Add, ex, don't add I just told you had a this, kitchen knife. Don't add ketchup to the What's spaghetti extra sauce. Extra sauce. <laughs> I've been to 11 schools in my life, and I know in the 11 schools I've been through, they usually attempt to try. You telling me I just pulled out a knife and waved it around and I'm out. That's all I did, bro. That's all I You're did. Lying, I got kicked. Man, I don't trust Why you think I'm lying? I, 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 just seen dude, I didn't. What you think? I I didn't do nothing were you, else. Were you a bad kid? No, I wasn't. That's what I'm trying so to say to you. So it was your first offense for waving a kitchen knife. No one got stabbed. No one got hurt. Bro. You waved it into a like a sword hung on. But it, it, it was fights and stuff going expect. on. I, yo, dog, they kicked. I'm telling you, no lie. So they, this how I got kicked out of my first school. I'm not. Okay, I'm I not. Believe, I, believe I wasn't even tripping like that. Like I used to bring that shit, dog, because I used to be scared. It's high school. I'm respect, young. Respect. No, shit start happening. I'm being. I, I start waving it. <laughs> they said I was trying to stab. I was just trying to do get away oh, so from you me. Waving I, it in, the, in the hallway like a bat. Okay, say, so, oh, okay, I'm crazy. Picturing it. Yeah, we going crazy squirrel. I, I, I can see you what know, you see. Gonna... A squirrel on the tree. Yeah. Let's just be hopping. On. Yeah, I was in there like this, going crazy, just waving it. I don't want to hurt nobody. Get away from me. Ah, that's it. Well, okay, hold on. Let me picture it. Close my eyes. Or they surrounding Don't close you, your eyes, nigga. Or picture were you it. running with it in your hand? It's two different types of people. I gotta picture it. <laughs> they, the school system failed you, and I need to call them. No, you I need to call that school. Why did they kick you out instead of having mediation? 
Yeah. Unless you really ran no, no, with no, it. No, it is. They made me feel like I was violent. I was like, I wasn't. I was just trying to protect myself. Well, if you myself. waved a knife like this, you waved it like this. No, no, I'm just getting everybody away from me. Yeah, exactly. All right, step. You know, somebody with a taser. Yo, get back, get back. So I was just trying to get niggas away from me. That's it. Did they? But hold on. Who caught you? Or somebody told? It was in the hallway of the school. It's people. Like, it's shit going. No, we're in the hallway in high school. Flip. You go ahead. You gonna say that? Like what? No, you're right. I'm, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Because I'm trying you to think picture. the school was clear, like one of the movies. No, 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 it was just no, no, me no, and no, you no, in the no, hallway, no. and I waved the knife just at I you. I think that whoever saw you would see that you were surrounded. Your back was against the wall. Unless I think that you are butchered. Now nah, I think I thought you was hyping it. I think you are lessening the blow. I think you I'll, really was running around with a knife. Probably threatening people, chasing people through the hallway, and you got expelled. You I know, really wasn't. I you was wasn't very... waving it in one place, trying to protect yourself and suspect. No. Nah, my niggas just tell me, yo, dog, when you come to high school, shit be different. It do. It's a so fact. I, I just wanted to make sure I was good, and I just happened to catch a situation with me and my guys from my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Got into it. All I did was just pull out the the, the house knife in the school. And... Nobody got cut. Don't come. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Don't come. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't do nothing. All I was doing was. Did somebody, uh, uh, I was protecting me. myself, bro. Watch this. I got you. Was it the winter or the summer? You said Christmas break. That means people had jackets on. Somebody jacket had a cut. That's why you got expelled. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 You really cut wasn't. someone's jacket. Because if I it was a summer, no, I wish I could call Nino Brown right now, my boy from my group, because he was the first one to tell me. He's the one that used to gas me up about school. Like, yo, listen, bro, you know, we be going through shit and like that with everybody. Like, I brought a kitchen knife. I used to sneak in. I used to go in my mom's drawer and bring the big, you know, that knife with the brown handle back in the days? We know, yeah. The, the, the big shit. Was yeah, it, was you the, cut, yeah, you cut one? shit with. Yeah, I used to come to school with one of those, dog. Not a flicker. Bow, you pop that Not, shit out. Hold on. Those knives are dangerous. Why, do you, why are you trying to... Less in the like, I'll let you know. I wasn't even about that life at that point. I was just trying to really, I was just like, Yo, a listen, butcher knife, the one that you cut the I, doom, doom. Yeah, you cutting cute. Yeah, you cutting, yeah, you cutting green peppers with and all that. One Ooh, of them, nah, this yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's long. Yeah, that's, that's long. Where you, where you fit it at? Not even that long. It should, though. I, I know where you get up. They know, but what. Why you be high? You see, that's why I take, I'm happy see? I'm talking to you because I knew you was going to add stuff to it. I'm telling you, you the truth, bro. You add ketchup to the spaghetti sauce. You add sugar to <laughs> frosted <laughs> flakes. You add honey no, to honey. No, sugar to frosted flakes. Kind yeah, of but good. that's too much. It is. Yeah, yeah. What Yo, butcher knife is this long? You can't even control the dynamics it, of the onions. <laughs> that's the knife I had. You was cutting everything with that knife back. That's the knife I had. This long? Yeah. That's, 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 I'm not, I don't care. It was a, a yo, dog. The shit it, was, yo, my nigga, I am not, it's, no it's the house I'm knife. Not. Shit that be in the drawer. Yeah, but, or the oh shit that be God. on the knife. So where you put it at? In my knife set. Jazz boy, it was in the knife set. Right. Yeah, it, jazz boy. Jazz boy, I know you like this guy. Talk to him. He get me tight. Why get you tight for him? I'll get you oh, tight. Because look, look, I feel mad for the kids too that you pulled it out. Because I know you was aggressive with it. I wasn't. I just swung it. I wasn't trying to stab nobody, dog. I wouldn't even like that. I was. I just wanted to get them away from me. And then when niggas told so, me, I said that. Normal butcher. Yo, I, dog, I was waving normal from respect. Normal butcher knives is this size. Look, listen, normal butcher knives is this size. You poke niggas with knives like that. See, that's yes, size? But you, you trying to get up on somebody and stab size. somebody. This is a machete I'm size. I'm trying to get you away from me that size. See that size? I'm trying to get you away from respect. me. I don't want no issues. I fall back. But the little Pokemons, you want to get up? You gotta get up on somebody, put some work in it though. Those right ones, that. yeah, I got no, it. No, the knife I had was the. You no, know, you pull out some and make a nigga not come next to you. Oh, this so, big she pulled out. We not gonna go nowhere near him. He crazy. He got the house knife out. Yeah, Cause you probably was yelling. You was short. Ah! Yeah, yeah, crazy. Like he bugging. That's I why he told you. Man. Yeah, crazy. So, bro. I'm all but, but, over the place. but but last thing, you you got kicked out of Wildcat. You said Wildcat the school. What's it called? Yeah, Wildcat Academy. I ain't I ain't get kicked out. You of just there. didn't go back. They put me on detention one day. And they told me I had to stay till five. And that was the one day I didn't want to stay till five. I, this school had 90 kids in it. It was on a, it was on a, a, a floor, a canal street, like the sixth floor somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This like I couldn't get in no programs. more. I couldn't get in no more other schools. I wasn't even that bad. I just had two incidents in two schools. You brought a number the second school, though. You brought a I was not that bad, though. And that I bet you was it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was it the same kitchen knife? <laughs> Yo, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> you were the habitual knife carrier. What, you you carried this. Hold on, hold on. No, I wasn't. There's no more. Yo, there's no more classes over there, man. The same knife to a different school. 
You got to wait. It was the house nut. It stayed in the house. Why did I, you carry it? At that time, I probably bought a different knife. You lying. I see the eyes. What color was the handle? I might. I said I might. What color was the handle? I didn't. You're not, you're not listening to yeah, me. Yeah, you're I, not. You, you right, come on. Let's, let's stay. Come on. Let's stay. I'm just, it might have been a different night. I'm just saying. I would take kitchen knives out the house. Like, when I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So happy to be the one with the brown handle. Got you. Got you. See, that knife was bad luck, see. <laughs> <laughs> that knife was bad luck. That knife was bad luck. Yeah. I mean, it ain't get me in no trouble. You got expelled from two schools. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 I that's saw, how it was supposed to happen. Facts. Mm -hmm. Nothing doesn't happen. You're right. So, I didn't know. So, I didn't hurt nobody. Nobody so hurt me. The knife kept me cool. That's how I'm going to look at it. I probably wouldn't stab nobody. I should just wave it around. Get away from me. I was one of them guys. Get away from me. I wouldn't do that to you. That's not who I was. So. Don't be. Don't I, look at me like that. I'm not that. I'm not like that. After Wildcat, yeah, it's over. It was rap after that. You didn't go back to school. You like I'm done with school. Just so happened, Big got on at that time, and I had a choice. My mom, I, I could have went to school again. I could have gotten to another school. I wasn't that bad, like I said. Like, but around that time, Big started getting on with the music, and the Junior Mafia thing started to come around. And um, nah, I just yeah. how did Junior Mafia come about? The name and the members. All bi. That was all bi shit. Like. Every time he used to rap, he, he, he used to always say Junior Mafia. Before we knew who he was, he used to rap about it because he already had that shit in his head. From a movie, you think? Huh? Was it from a movie or he just had the name? No, just as a rapper, he just, like, outside of him, he, like, all right, this is going to be my crew. My crew is going to be called Junior Mafia. Got it. You know what I'm saying? How many There's members? Gonna be these little niggas right here that be running around with knives at school, <laughs> <laughs> out here hustling like this. he already he already had that shit con in his head. So when he used to do these little freestyles and rap, and he used to mention Junior Mafia, it, it was a crew thing. Like it was like his neighborhood shit. Like but Junior Mafia meant all of the young guys that he used to try to just nurture and get out the streets and get out the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? The little niggas that was acting wild like us. Like I'm. I'm a good guy, dog. I'm nothing like how all my little friends that I grew up with, like Nino and, you know, Bugs. Like, Nino was a terror. Mm. Terror, dog. He, he still is, too. Don't, 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 he, 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 don't say that. Don't say that about Nino. Come on. Don't do that. Don't, don't involve him in your that's interview. That's my guy. That's my brother. Say a positive he's thing. He's not a brother. terror. He's a nice good. guy. He's raising now. his he's kids yeah, right exactly. now. He's there we go. Man. Shout out to my brother Nino Brown. Like, nah, but he was a, I was very influenced by him. I used to follow his footsteps, like, you know? Hmm. Follow him. Like, I was the first little nigga I hustled for. I was big. Then, I never hustled for big. I hustled for Nino Brown for my how, group. How many members were in Junior Mafia? Was nine you? of us. Nine? Yeah. You want me to name all of them? Of course. Show me your memory. Let me see if you know all nine of them. No, 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 no. It's not about <laughs> me. No, no. Nigga, nigga. Go ahead. Go. Klepto. He was a real thief in real life. He do real estate now. He's getting big money out here, buku bucks. But he was really a klepto. He used to, he used to sleep in stores and steal shit for us to do shows. I'm just telling you the truth. Klepto maniac. You got Chick Delvec that grew up with Big. That's the first one that brought Big outside the Fulton Street to even hustle. Chick Delvec. You got a uh, Bugsy. You got Capone. You got Nino. You have me. You have Kim. And you have Trife and Larceny. It was nine of us. And B.I. So B.I. was like the 10th one. So Because B.I. invented it. This was his group. So it was like, that was the collective right there. That was just the rap group. Outside of just the homies. Junior Mafia was just like the crew. You also had D-Rock. You had Money L. You got C. Gutter. You know what I'm saying? Like those. C. Gutter, like, where you the, at? Yeah. You know what I mean? Those, the other guys that were just like the outskirts that was really out there. Like, you know. The big dogs out there throwing the gloves on, ready to put in some work mm. any given Sunday type of situation. And Name Little Seeds came from a movie, you said. I heard it in an interview, too. Um, your Name Little Seeds came from a movie. It came from a book, actually. Once he told us we was a group, he said, y'all yeah, got to come up with a name. Mm -hmm. So once we knew we were Junior Mafia, you know, as kids, how you fuck you think of a name? We used to just read Mafia books, and we would just like, like watch all these movies. And I read a book, and it was just a guy named Little Caesar. He was just like, he was 5'3" 
short guy, but he, he wasn't aggressive. He was always like the guy that create parties and bringing women around and doing all this shit. And I always felt like that was like, all right, that's me right there. And I took that name and he didn't even judge it. He was like, yo, all oh, y'all got names. I was like, I'm Lil C's, Lil Caesar. He was like, all right. That was it. That was it. Nino Brown. So when you think about all our names, we all have mafia names, Bugsy, Capone, Sheik Delvec, and you know, so all that was just us just being kids, just like not knowing no direction, just like, all right, well, I'm gonna read a mafia book or figure out some shit, and that's how I got my name. When, when did things get spicy for you at a young age? Because we know that <clears throat> you've seen a lot of things, and you <clears throat> wasn't around for a lot of things, but when was the first serious incident that happened in your life where you witnessed something where you was around? Whether we know spicy about it. How? Or, what you mean by spicy? Like, that like drama, well, you know, that, like spicy. Yeah, yeah, like, well, well, spicy well, well, spicy is the wrong terminology. You're right, because spicy is more like pauseish. Um, <laughs> it's not like I was thinking about spicy. It sounded femaleish. When was yeah. the first thing that like a first big impact on your life? Like you've been around for a lot of stuff. You, you, you've been around in quad when the situation happened with Pac because that led to something. Mm -hmm. You being there, mm -hmm. recipes big. You was in the car for that. I'm talking about what what incident was the first where you was like. Being in, I want to use the right term, man, instead of saying, because I don't want niggas to like, flip you. <laughs> Being in some no, shit, I, man. I, I get what you're saying. Like, Thank you, like please. The first That's reality, help me, man. The first like, reality <laughs> situation where you felt like, all right, we in the mix of some shit? Yes, please. Thank you. Um, I mean, if you speak on it in that term, I would probably say the, uh, probably the Pac situation, you know, for me, the quad thing. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, just from that situation, he spoke my name in that. And that was just like a real situation, like, you know. I, and that was our first Junior Mafia session. So that's why I probably would say that because when that situation happened, that was our first Junior Mafia session when we first got signed our record deal. First session. You know, this is our first, like, enjoyment. Just like, that's a, a Junior Mafia. Mm -hmm. Big was already signed. Big was already good. This is like a Junior Mafia session. We just got signed. We just got our advanced money. Our situation This is something like totally different. You know what I mean? Like, and in the mix of us trying to have that moment of celebrating, you know what I'm saying? And like enjoying our moment, that situation happened at that time. So I probably would say that, like, you know, like, like my first like real reality check or some shit. Like we've been through other shit before that, but that was like the first like, oh shit, like what the f going on? Like that was my introduction to like, are right, you want a record deal? <laughs> You want to get signed? You want to mm -hmm. be in the world? Here you go. This is your first session. The first we was recording Players Anthem that day too. Like you know, our very first record, and mm. all that happened that night. Oh, that shit. So uh, I, I would feel like probably that was like the like the shit like the introduction to like I right, welcome to the industry type of shit. Like you know what I'm saying? It was something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now before that, um, how long did you know Pac before that? Because I, I know you said you saw him out the, the balcony in the studio. You, you called him. You basically told him to come around. You know, everyone yeah. knows the story probably and yeah, the movie yeah, and everything. Yeah, I told him the story so, times. You did. How, how long did you know Pac before that, though? Probably like, like you know, a few months. Yeah, it's like from him dealing with B.I. I didn't know him like right, right. I knew him personally as a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like I, my only relationship with him was from through Big. You know what I'm saying? So he was dealing with Big since party and bullshit. Mm-hmm. So just being around him was too big. Whenever they did functions together, whenever he had come out and rock with Big, whenever he came out and did shows with Big, I would just have that interaction with him type of shit. Like it wasn't no like me and that man like had a, a separate situation. He ain't no, know me you. unless he knew me through B.I. You know right, what I'm right. Saying? Like, you know, wasn't no situation like that. You know what I mean? But he knew me just from being part of Big Entourage type of thing. So I knew him as, much, as long as Big knew him, just dealing with music type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do you remember how they met? They met in L.A. I wasn't there for that. Like, it wasn't there you know, for that. He heard, Pac heard Party and Bullshit one day, and he was just like, he was just really like just going crazy off that record. He wanted to meet B.I. through that shit. Anybody will tell you that. Mm -hmm. He heard Party and Bullshit. He was like, yo, who is that that sang this record? I want to meet that nigga. And him and Big met one time. That's when he, he flew Big and... Got it with, like, found out about Big and got Big all the way to Cali. And that's how him and Big got cool from there. He was just a fan of B.I. B.I. was a fan of him, too, though. You know what I'm saying? B.I. wasn't no nigga like that. B.I. fuck with that nigga. 
At that time, too, Pac was that guy. You got to understand mm. this before Big got on. He was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and B.I. embraced that shit. And he found out about Big just through that song. Like, yo, that party and bullshit was like his record. And that's how him and Big got cool from there. And he just knew us just on some entourage type of shit. Like, all right, you know, you know, when you pull up with somebody, you pull up with your niggas. And he knew everybody just around us from Big, from us being around them type of shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Do you? I saw that happen. And r- real quick, and, and we all heard the story. We know what happened in um, quads. We heard it. The elevator, they tell you to back up. But real quick about this question. Do you ever think in your mind, or have you ever thought that you could have done more? Did that ever cross you? I, I should have did this. Like when things was in the thick of it, did you ever feel like I could have done more? I should have did this. In retrospect, I mean, take out the whole distant thing and all that stuff getting crazy. We talking about like when it happened and things are starting to go, did you feel like I could? I, there's something that you could have did, or you already accepted what happened. I mean, do more in do more in which way? Like I don't <clears throat> anything. Like, did you ever think that that, or you just accepted for what it, what it, what happened? As in what though? Like, see, I like I could have done more in which way? Like, what I don't know. Like, what you like mean? when like, you went, that's the question to you. That's the question to do you. Did you accept everything that happened? Because of course. What I'm saying is that, you know, when something happened and you there and something, because out of that, out of you speaking from the balcony, right? Yeah, yeah. Him seeing you, out of you coming down and you being in the elevator and they telling you to back up. No, I don't have no, no. It's, so, got no, it. So no, it's just, I have no regrets about respect. how that shit went down. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, people got to understand, I told this story a bunch of times. A thousand times. Nobody, we didn't know he was going to be there, bro. You know what I mean? Like, we didn't know that. That was just coincidence. I saw him. I acknowledged him. You get what I'm saying? So when people are like, yo, I mean, I think everybody already know about how people feel about that. Like, yo, those niggas know B.I. ain't have nothing to do with that. Everybody know that. Like, but if B.I. wanted to be it, put itself in that, we should just rob the nigga ourselves, right? Because why would I go out there and let you know I'm there? I might as well just do it myself. Like, what? Or, I'm, or maybe I'm just that flamboyant and just like throwing it in your face. Like, no, we didn't know what was going on. He was already coming to that studio to record with somebody else, right? I happened to see him and I acknowledged him and then went in the room and told Big, yo, Big, your boy downstairs, he told me to go get him. Mm-hmm. And I went downstairs and got him. And when I went downstairs, that's what I saw. And I went downstairs, I got backed <coughs> up into that elevator. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. No, why? You think this is, you think we just sit here, we just playing this whole shit out like this, like, y'all gonna come downstairs and you back me in the elevator. You, no, dog, no. It was, it was real genuine. Yo, yo, big, pop downstairs. Yo, world, you, yo, go get him. You think bigger put me in that mix at 15 years old? You think he had jeopardized my life and Nino life like that? Because me and Nino went downstairs. Nah, we didn't, we didn't know he was coming there. It just that, Big been dealing with him, and I just happened to see him, and I know how Big deal with him, and I know how we deal with him. Like, nigga, that's Pac. Nigga, yo, I'm, what up? And, yo, yo, come around the corner. I'm about to come get you downstairs. Yo, Big, Pac downstairs. Mm. Yo, he is? Yeah, go get him. I went downstairs. That's what happened. I went back upstairs. Yo, Big, shit going down now. He thinking I'm lying. I'm like, nah, bro. And you know what Big said? Y'all little niggas stay up here. I'll be right back. He went downstairs and then come back up for like 20 minutes. Now we down, now we upstairs like sitting up here right now. Like that's like me telling Flip to go downstairs and Flip don't come back up for 30 minutes. Mm. Interview over, nigga. I got to go downstairs and see what's up with my boy. And we that's went fun. downstairs and that's how we knew what happened. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm. come on, dog. So it's nothing. I, I don't feel like it was something with us. To make me think like, could I have done anything different? Or do I regret it? I know. I, I wish that shit didn't happen. But that wasn't in my control for me to regret something like I made something to happen or, or we pushed something to happen. Mm-hmm. No, I wish that situation didn't happen. I wish whatever happened that night didn't turn out that way. But that wasn't our control. It just so happened that, you know what? Maybe it happened for it to be this history for us to talk about this shit for this many years and for it to be that. Ah, that was a God calling or that. We don't know what that was. 
it wasn't us. <laughs> saying like, yeah. B.I. didn't have to do that firsthand. I want to make that very clear every time I talk about this. Why would Big line him up? He had a promising career. Big was already on at this point. You get what I'm saying? He was already popping. He already got us a record deal at this time. We had a junior mafia session. He, was, he already had a record deal. One more chance, Big Papa, Juicy, Can't You See, Only You. He's rocking. Why would I line? Why would I line my man up? That helped me. Gave me knowledge. Schooled me. F***ed with me. Embraced me. Jumped on records with me. That wasn't who B I was. It's, it's, no, it's, it's no other way I can keep telling this shit. Like, yo, bro, at the end of the day, you can't change people's mind. You can't change people's mind states. Mm -hmm. Whatever they think is what they think. It is what it is. I'm going to stand on this type of shit for the rest of my fucking life. There's no other way I could explain it. That's what happened. That man was out here seeing other people. He wasn't, he wasn't just dealing with us out here. You know what I'm saying? He was out here mingling. He was shooting movies out here. He was doing stuff out here. B.I. wasn't his only resource out here type of thing. But, like I said, I saw that man. I acknowledged him out of the love for B.I. I had for him. And I was a fan as a kid, like, like hanging out with him. with him and No, I saw him downstairs and not knowing he was coming there, but I still went downstairs and thought I was just doing a good deed. Like, yeah, B.I., park downstairs, you're going to get him. We ain't know that he was already coming there. That's what people don't know. And that's what people got to do their research on. Stop worrying about the B.I. shit with that shit. But that's not what it's about. And B.I. loved that man. We all f*** with him and loved him too. Just as well as like, you know what I mean? He loved B.I. A lot of people don't know that. It was just so much negative shit with that shit. Everybody just tend to, you know, put all the negative shit and the bullshit into that shit. Why well, I'm really like that. Them niggas really f*** with each other on some real shit. Yeah. And that's what it's about. We can move on with that now. I know you spoke about that. No, hold on. <clears throat> you keep going? I don't want to move on yet. Man, I'm, 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 and, I, and I want to tell you why. Obviously, not obvious, but you told a story before, so I don't want to talk about that. I wanted to get into the mind of how you thought. Because if you didn't acknowledge him, if you didn't go downstairs and he would have saw you, do you think that maybe he wouldn't have said that them niggas had something to do with it? Because obviously we already know the story. Anybody that know the story know where that came from. It had nothing to do with Big, y'all. But do you think that, like, damn, like, when you think about it, man, I should have, you were just hailing him. You, of course, you was doing a positive thing. That's what I asked you how you thought about it. I should have mm -hmm. never went down to this guy. I should have never said anything to him when I saw him. I should have waited. Did that ever cross your mind or you just was fine? I know it's not your fault, but people think like that. Nah. When you sit with yourself, people, who knows? Why would I think? No, I didn't think I was. No, that's B.I. That's fam. That's fam. That's fam to us, bro. Yeah. Like, no. If I see him. So you mean to tell me if I saw you downstairs, Flip, you was coming in here, right? And just so happened when you came down here, you ran to something down there. You think I regret that? I didn't know. I was coming downstairs to, that's my man. Say no more. And I see him. And he, I'm here. Yo, what you doing? Come around here, not knowing you coming here. I'm just thinking I'm seeing you. Yo, Flip, what you doing? Yo, come upstairs, my nigga. What you, I'm going to come downstairs and get you. Not knowing... You was like, yo, nigga, I, I'm, I'm coming there anyway. I'm going to be on the sixth floor. I didn't know you was coming there. But me just acknowledging you because you fuck with my boy. So the next question is, do you think that it was easier because where it came from, it was easier to blame Big. It was, easy, it was an easier way to blame Big instead of going the other route of where it came from. Of course. So that was a, a, Cause sometimes Because sometimes you don't want to address what's really at bay. And Big <clears throat> was just the bait. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I get that. You know, street politics or just the way you want to call it from that, it's all good. You know what I mean? But that don't take away my love for him. You know what I mean? Like, nah. It I was the best way it. to respond from getting robbed, even though he knew where it came from. Because we, you know, recipe stretch. You know, and, 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 and we're going to leave it at that. We, we're not going to do, we don't do that. We don't yeah. discuss. Yeah. Yeah, of course. He, he knew, everybody knew what it was and it wasn't B.I. It wasn't us. We know it. That. And, that's, and that's just how, you know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Like and we leave it on that I'm note. I respect that. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Got it. And that's it. That's how everybody live peacefully. Mm -hmm. That's how everybody rest peacefully. And we be cool. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I don't hold no grudges, no nothing, because I know where we came from. It was genuine love. It was genuine respect. And I know how big Jimmy felt about that man. I just feel and everybody know it's that. It's like picking, man. Like, I'm, I'm a chill. I'm a chill. 
It's like, all right, respect, all right, rest in peace. Nah, talk, my nigga. You going? Nah, I mean, nah, because it's but like I, that's a very. It, it's so sensitive, but you got you got to be like that with that situation, yeah, you got dog, to, because you got to. that's a real life thing. It is. It and is. Sometimes real life situations ain't worth this. I agree on some real shit. It's I not agree. worth talking. It. It's not. Nah. It's not. It's not what we do. If you come from a place where I come from, mm -hmm. this ain't how it works all the time. So I can't jeopardize and do certain shit. I'm not going to do it for this. No matter if you my man, you my man, I love y'all and all that, but some situations just don't, it don't cause for this. Mm -hmm. I agree. You get what I'm saying? Because you have to come from a real standpoint from where I come from. Respect. Because when you really in tune with just real people, normal people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's certain things that just, you just don't allow. Because outside this camera shit, I still got to walk the streets. I still got to go see my moms that live in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I still got to go see my sisters that live in that neighborhood. I still gotta go check on my nephews that go to them schools in them neighborhoods and all that. So you gotta be very like, cause you don't know everybody mind state where they stand and who they are and how they think and everybody takes shit so personal today. Sometimes you gotta just sit back and just like everything ain't for everybody either. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, everybody know what it is with that situation. That's how we supposed to keep it. I'm not gonna disrespect that man, no matter what. Right. I'm not. Cause I had, I got good history with him, as well as I had bad history with him. But I'ma embrace the good shit. And we was young. You gotta think about the dog. Pac was twenty, what twenty five? Big was twenty four. Dog, I outlived them niggas twenty years. So it's a different ball game now. How you see it? We was just young niggas, not knowing no better. And it, it was just a different scenery, different situation, dog. It's you can't call that. So asking me that shit, it's like asking me now. It's like I can't explain it the way I want to explain it because. We just can't. It's a lot. It's a lot. I get, I get it. You get, you get what I'm saying? I do. You just can't tell. You got to leave certain things to be. But at the end of the day, all I ever want to clear is that B.I. was not no grimy nigga. Right. Or no shisey nigga like that. Nah, B.I. was a stand-up nigga. He would never do nothing like that to none of his niggas. Nobody. Outside of his immediate niggas, not even a rap friend. And just like, nah, he wasn't like that, my dude. And I felt like that kind of put an edge on my boy's name to make him look like, damn, like, nah, Brooklyn niggas ain't like that. We grimy, but we ain't, nah, nigga. He was official when it came to that. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he wouldn't do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's all I ever wanted to clear up about that whole situation. But I'm not going to put people in situations, you know what I mean? Like, everybody know what it is. If you from the streets and you from the hood, you know what it is. And that's how we keep it from there. That's how I go. So that was your yeah, first session you said. Play mm -hmm. plays anthem. What was um what was Big's vision for Juju Mafia? Uh just for us to blossom and get out the streets and everybody to do their own solo projects. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when he picked them nine guys, it was you no know, no Junior Mafia was broken down into four groups. So you had the sixes. You know, remember we used to rock the vests with the triple sixes on it? Mm -hmm. So the sixes was his first original group. <clears throat> Before anybody else, before Kim, before Klepto, and before the Snakes, it was the original five guys that he that lived in his neighborhood, which was Bugsy, Capone, Nino, Chico, and me. That was the first group, right there. And then when he bumped into Un, which Un was from a, Un was in the neighborhood getting money, doing his thing, doing him. We ain't know Un was doing nothing with music, but Un had Trife and Lawsony. Their name was Too Bad Child at that time. You know what I'm saying? And um, and that's how him and Big started to collide. He was like, yo, listen, listen to them. And Big heard them was like, and knew they was from the neighborhood. And was like, all right, you know what? I think I could put this together. And then my sister telling him Kim could rap. And then we met Klep. He met Klep at the tunnel one time. And Klep was a, like I say, he was a Klep though. Still in. Klep had a Q45 doing shit. He met Big and Big embraced him just on some I like this kid right here. And that's how Big started to form that group. So that was that was the four four groups in, in Junior Mafia. It was Klepto, it was Kim as a solo artist, it was the Snakes, and it was the Sixes. So Junior Mafia was like four groups broken down into one. That's how he did that. That was all his idea. So when you just when you started doing music though, because you, you didn't really do music at first like that, right? I had nothing to do with music. He wrote all my raps. So how'd you get like what was your first introduction to, to the music game? When I started doing hype man shit for him, <laughs> like one day he took me to Raleigh, North Carolina, when they performing at a club called Kamikazes. 
one nigga from my neighborhood that was getting money out of town was like, yo, big, I'm going to book you out here when he just had party and bullshit out and dreams of fucking the R&B bitch, like, Dolly My Baby, like, mm-hmm. or like shit that he, Real Love remix, like, it wasn't even no album out. But he was buzzing so much, my boy was getting, like, our boy was getting money out of town in North Carolina. He was like, yo, I'm going to book you out there. We drove to all the way to North Carolina in the LeBaron, a two-door LeBaron car. Like, you know what I mean? Me and Nina was in the back seat. And, and my man Lokes and Big was in the front seat. We drove all the way to fucking Rally, North Carolina, and did our first show. And Big gave me the microphone. He was like, yo, don't sing the whole song. Because he knew, sitting in his house with him, I knew all the lyrics. I, every time he would play a beat or just writing songs and shit, I would make sure I memorized everything, just sitting there with him all night. And he was like, yo, don't sing the whole shit. Just sing some words. And from that day forward, I did every show with him since then. From that time, we talking about like 1992, mm. 93 type of shit. Like, I'm a kid, though. I'm 13. This when I went going to school, getting kicked out. Hey, he like, yo, nigga, you know, like, he'll call my mom. I was like, yo, listen, he know he don't go to school, right? You know, he drop his knapsack off downstairs under your staircase and come up the block with me, right? I'm going to take him with me. Are you cool with that? And my mom was like, all right, well, let me talk to him. And I told my mom, so like, yo, listen, mom, I don't like school. I don't like going, and I want to go with him. And she was like, well, make sure that shit take care of you. Whatever you're doing, make sure that shit take care of what I want you to do. I want you to go to school. I want you to get education. I want you to get right. But if you don't want to do that, just make sure that shit be your diploma. And if it don't, you could be 40 years old, 30 years old. You still got that back room in there. I would never kick you out. Mm. You know, That's how my mom's kept it a buck with me since I was 13 years old, dog. Like, yo, listen, don't worry about it. But I'm going to tell you, it's not manly still being your mama house after 30 years old. And she she gave me that option. And that's what it was from there. So, um, <clears throat> how did Biggie feel about Puff at some point? Like, no, 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 don't put your hand like that. Let me ask a complete question, nigga. I ain't say nothing, nigga. I mean, you put your hand like, flip what you I ain't say nothing. I, just, don't, don't, I can't fuck my game. hand, nigga. I mean, don't start Why I can't do that with you? Because I know you preparing to be like, Why are you getting all aggressive? I, th- I thought we was cool. We and are you cool. Could, you was being cool right now. Now nah, I can't fuck my hand. I no, can't. because you, you sucked your teeth. You said, nah, like, flip what you talking man. about. You lucky I don't kick these dogs off, too. <laughs> Why you gonna do all that, man? Can I put my shoe on here? That's fine. Yeah, I ain't worried about that. It don't make me nervous. If I was nervous, I'd have a dog. Nah. He I, never uh he Because never, you know you hear a lot of things like like we got I just wanna yeah. and you was around you know you hear a lot of things over the years, right? And you hear Mace, you know, he's doing what he's doing now and, and, and saying what he's saying. Mace <clears> got the right to say what he gotta say. You said what? He got the right to say what he gotta say. I say that in the mic because you, you're too far from it. I just wanna make sure we I said Mace got the right to say what he gotta say. Okay, now at any point did Big feel a way towards anything? How did he feel like from the beginning when Puff Put him on towards the end of. Was he trying to break away like everybody, like all these type of things that people speak about? Is there any validity to those claims? When it came to Bi, nah. Respect, Loyalty. definitely not. Got it. Never heard Big say it. So where people get that from? I mean, you gotta think about it. Maybe all this stuff happened after Bi. You know, I don't know. It's not. I don't think about nobody else in in, in, in none of those situations. I can't judge how anybody else constructed their things with with Puff. I can't say it either because I don't have no deal with Puff. We wasn't signed to Puff as Junior Mafia. We weren't signed to him. So we never been in no no business predicaments with him like that. Big was. But I don't feel like Big never had no issue. He never spoke about it. He never said nothing about it. He made sure B.I. was good. And, you know, at the end of the day, I look at it like this. If he wouldn't have put Big on, it would have been no Junior Mafia. So I don't look at it that way. But I never had no personal ish business with him either to put myself in that predicament with him. Kim wasn't signed to him. Junior Mafia wasn't signed to Bad Boy. We were just an alliance through B.I., you know what I'm saying? We wasn't signed to Bad Boy at all. So I think everybody need to understand that. We wasn't, we wasn't signed as a roster. When Big died, Puff said, yo, on the strength of B.I., we gonna, we wanna, I want to keep this legacy going for him, and I want y'all to make sure y'all involved and, and, and y'all in tune with us, and we was the same way. All right, we down. We with that because we fuck with the locks. You know, we fuck with Mace. We, you know, we, Faith is signed there. Like, all right, nah, we're going to keep this shit authentic with the family. 
So we didn't really have no real, like, you know, we didn't have to get into the type of calls with him because we had no really contracts or no type mm-hmm. of shit like that with him. But everything was smooth with us, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least with me. Let me see it on that because I had no type of shit like that unless it came down to something with B.I., you know, or something with that. And it, But other than that, nah, had no issues with that man at all. And Big didn't either. You ever heard B.I. say something about it? Never. Rest in peace, no. How can I say it? <laughs> say no more. You get what I'm saying? It's nothing. <clears throat> so all the stuff that you hear now is just after and people dealing and dealing with things, you know, understanding. Yeah. That's that's a, yo, that's everybody else deals they did with Respect. him. Respect. I don't got nothing to do with the locks deals they did with him. I ain't got nothing to do with Mace deal they did with him. That's not nothing with me. It's nothing to do with B.I. either. You know what I'm saying? Like, so no, I can't speak on things that don't involve my situation or a B.I. situation, so I can't say that. From B.I. standpoint, B.I. was good. And that's just how it goes. What I supposed to say? You ain't supposed to say nothing. You want me to say something? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Because the way you say it, like, nah, 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 I'm supposed nah, to say nah, 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 I don't <laughs> say nothing. Nah, nah, nah. I just, I just, you know, you hear these things, man, and people put these things, and you try to wonder, like, where, where does it come from? You don't get what you, you know? deserve. You get what you negotiate, man. Ooh. So however somebody did their contract, that's how they supposed to do their contract, fired. right? Yeah. Don't hype him, G. I know that was hot. That was hot. Leave him, leave him. I mean, this is a saying that goes in the industry that you, this is not nothing I made up. This this is something that goes around with the industry. You don't get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. Who Junior Mafia had to deal with? Us? We had to deal with Atlantic. Undears had a distribution through Atlantic Records. And that was Un and Big Label. That's how we were signed with Big Label. We're Un. So we didn't sign the bad boy. We wasn't signed under them. We were signed through Undears, was distributed through Atlantic Records. That's how we got on. And that was big and unproject. We was Junior Mafia. We was we was big and unproject. And unshot all our videos. He shot Crusher on you, Players Anthem, get money. I need you tonight. And he was be our partner. That's how we got on. We wasn't signed the bad boy. At all. And Kim was also signed to Undears also. We all came from that one umbrella. That was us. When you <laughs> I'm about to get it's about to get let me ask so I didn't watch it. I didn't watch the clip, so I'm gonna ask you fresh. But I did see something on it. Hey, prepare yourself, prepare yourself. I know um, you up there reading. No, 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 no. I am, but prepare yourself because I didn't watch the clip, but um <clears throat> When did you, so Foxy grew up in the same neighborhood as y'all? Or like, that, see? <laughs> <laughs> come on, man, I'm talking. <laughs> nah, cause why you guys just trying to like line that shit? like all right, listen, you know, I'm, about, I'm about to f- with you right there. Right. Nah, because I know, cause you want me, cause you, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. At, you know, I watch you. You're pretty good at answering questions, but nigga, you ain't better than me. You want those shots? Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> you right. I, I'm not. You that? You way better. <laughs> don't, don't, don't get nervous. You all right, nigga? Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> Flip, don't sit up like that, Flip. What's going on, What's going on, like that? Uh-huh. That's a phone. You all right, Flip? You <laughs> <laughs> flip jumped on like, what's up? That's it's all happened. right, man. Um, <laughs> did you know her before? You knew her before when y'all was younger? Or like, how did you did you what, know Foxy? Her? Yeah, Foxy Brown. Right? Yeah, she's from my neighborhood. Yeah. So you knew her? She grew you, up with us. Yeah, hell yeah. She, so she really grew up with y'all? Yeah. Which, like, like, really, like, like, lived like two, three minutes from us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Was, like, it, really. a, was it a friendship? Yeah, of course. How you gonna say it act like it's not? You ain't see her and Kim on I did the cover. cover. I saw it. You ain't on. see her on Just the Tony record. Just let me act record. like this. But why you? But you asking <laughs> me? Why you reversing like, it on but me? But why you testing me like that? Because like, you a lit legend. I just want to. Why you asking me like I'm not gonna see it? Tell fold. you not. I want to see if you're gonna remember or you're gonna fold because you're a good guy. I remember. Are you gonna really? You 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 gonna do that? You been trying to do this interview <laughs> four years, and I remember that. You gonna think I remember that? <laughs> let me reframe it. Yeah. Do it your way. So y'all was all friends. Everybody was cool. Yes, yes. I did see an article. I didn't get to watch it. I'm saying that, but I did see something pertaining to that Big might have her, wanted her to be a part of Junior Mafia. I saw that you addressed that rumor. Was that true or was it not true? He wanted her to be affiliated because he was just on some Brooklyn shit. Not as in the Mafia as a group. Like, nah. No, nigga. I, I have what I have, but this is also that, too. You got to think about the time he's thinking about this, too, because we all... 
in good hands. Everything is in good spirit. Like, you know, it's Foxy, that's that. But she had so much. Like, it was just all a family thing. It wasn't like, no, I wanted to be a part of this. Nah, he was just trying to sit here like, they just wanted to gather a crew. Like, he just wanted to gather a crew of people. He was, he was just really ahead of his time like that. Like, nigga, he was going to sign Capone from Noriega. He was going to sign Cameron. Don't, y'all mm-hmm. hear his facts out the camera. Like, no, he was just trying to become an entrepreneur. Like, he, he knew his power. He see what he was doing. He knew the leverage he had. He was just really just trying to bring people together. It didn't, it didn't matter who it was. You dope, I'm going to f*** with you. That's just who he was. But you got to think about this time we're talking about. So don't think how you think about today with the situation and, and how they may have their differences. And this time, it wasn't no differences. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, everybody was cool. They, they, hey, what's up? Yeah, man? so this is it. Yeah, so chill. yeah, this is something. chill so, together. The people chill together. Keep it real. Like, don't hide exactly. from me. Exactly. It's, it's, don't say exactly. No, you have to answer my question because you're very good. You're not, you're good. You're going to say exactly to make me say it so you don't have to say it. Exactly. <laughs> and oh, did they chill I together? Know, bro. I'm just telling you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> did Kim and, and, yeah. and Foxy hang out together? Yes? Yes, of course. There we they go. Hung, no, no, they, they, they were friends. They were. Like, the, we, we can say it act like they wasn't. No, I'm going to tell you. We all was in a, a good, happy space at one point. You know, and then know. things happened. What? I don't, don't. You're not about to get. You have to ask. You're not about to do that, niggas. Don't try to see. What do you think? I am better than you. You, you are. You, you are. get them to ask. You ask them that. Get her up here and we'll get that person I to speak to Foxy. I Foxy don't, scenes. to this day, I don't know why her and Kim have that issue. So you just I, woke up one day and it was, you know, because I like Kim. I, I like them both. I don't Legends. know. It's, it's, it could be a competitive thing. It could be. It's a. It could be a Brooklyn thing. I but don't you can't, know. Let's, That's let's, a female let's, thing. Let's, I, let's, yo, let's, I'm not a female. So your brother. Uh, <laughs> it's the first time I, in the studio. Yeah, are you going to sit my head? Are you going to stand up? I can't, I can't bring the mic over yo. there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sit next to you. I want to talk. Listen, listen. You, you can't. You, but Steve, you got to remember. Listen, listen. No one talking to you. Listen, I know you. I know I did my research on you. You know. Now, you can say flip. I choose not to answer it. I don't want to give my opinion. But you're not going to. If How can. When people become friends, right? When you're friends, you come together. What leads to, in your opinion, you talk about some competition. You want to be politically correct. It's a competition. Now, if it's that personal, like I don't want to answer because it's personal, have some, then I understand. I'm going to respect that. I'm so would you believe me if I told you I never asked why? I don't give a fuck. Mm. <laughs> I mean, do you do you really want I believe you. That's you women's tell- stuff. Like, Facts. No, no, I swing low. I'm a dick. I have a dick. I don't care about none of that. Y'all women, y'all get through that shit the way y'all get through it, but you already know I'm a ride or die for QB. Point blank, period. That's fam. That's my situation. But yo, why her and Foxy don't get along? I kill less. So that didn't put you in a position because you was friends with Fox too at the yo, time. I didn't feel bad. Like do you, you, you understand my point? I can care less about that. Try to think that is. You know that? that? Do you understand? I, I can care. That's the women thing. I don't know why. I stopped asking about it. So you asked well, at one point. Caught you. Got him. What you call me? We got him, Flip. Good looking, my guy. We got him. Flip, we got him. Yo, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yo, Flip, stop. Flip, we got him. Stop, dog. Stop. You knew at one point you asked, because you know why? Because you was cool. You probably tried to bag Foxy at one point. I know you, horny. I know you. I know you, little horny. Yo, you know what I'm saying? You was lit. Yo, I hate you. You what happened? I'm riding with you, but what happened? I know you, I know your thoughts. I'm nah. you. Yo, I don't like... Yo, listen, I'm very <laughs> prideful with, like, just the culture and just love. I don't like seeing people beef and all that. You I know, know what okay. I mean? Like, I I, that's just not my flavor, all right? You know what I <laughs> mean? So I'm always the one to be like, yo, like, what happened? I'm like, what's, like... I can tell. I please. don't know about... Yo, listen, when I ask him about it, it's... Yo, it's just that... Uh, and I and I and I saw Foxy a few times too. Like that's why I don't sugarcoat that shit, my nigga. At the end of the day, this is Brooklyn, bro. Like at the end of the day, and I got history with all of them. You know what I mean? Like it was one time when we was all good and we all cool. I don't have no issues with Foxy if I saw her today. Gav is my brother. Shout out to Gav. My man. Torn is my brother. Shout out to Torn. My nephew playing his tournaments on Dean Street. Like no, this is. You know what I mean? Like nah, it's not. It's not nothing like that. I don't know what they have. I would love for both of them to really 
what it is? Can y'all sit down? Is it that bad? Is it? I know it's not that bad, but it's something that they both not telling me. I it's don't going know. Long, it's going on a long time. But I don't see. ask about that. See, it's going on a long time. Come on, it's going on a long time. How many years? Like, like 20? That's a long time. You think like, I'm, but do you see, think I'm, home, do you Brooklyn, think I'm concerned about that? You you're not worried about me. You're a peace, I hate when people go that route. I'm not concerned. You're a peaceful man. You're a man with love. You're a professional. You're an entrepreneur. And you're a motivator. You try to big Wait, I ain't never hear nobody. Yo, nigga, <laughs> Yo what you say it again? Say it one more time, nigga. Because I need this to spin back. Say it again? I'm a what? You heard what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you heard what I said. So I, I ain't gonna guess you, but what I'm saying is that. So, but it never put a strain because at one point you was riding, you, you riding with QB always, QB to the. And, yeah, but but I, did, 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 and at one point, could you did you think that it put a strain on you and Foxy's relationship, or it never did? Like she, like you know, if something happened, and if you saw her, did she act fun? Not act funny, but like you know that that look, or it never put a strain because you nah, seem like you loyal. Y'all so. y- 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 believe in loyalty? Knew, nah, I think she knew what it was. I mean, she 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 already know that. You know what I mean? Like nigga, I, this is what I'm. This is where I come from. This is my turf. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to get in between a girl situation. Like, I'm, I, no, I'm not going to get into that. I don't know why y'all beefing, but at the end of the day, she should know where my loyalty lies. Got you. Same way I know where Tuan loyalty lies. Or okay. Gab loyalty lies. Got it. That's their family. I'm never going to sit there and look at them and go, yo, who side you want today, Gab? I'm never going to put him in that, in, in that position. Put him closer. You, my brother, I mess with you, but this is, some, this is something they going through. And we're going to let them figure that out. You know but what I'm saying? It blew up something big, though. See? It blew up something big. I, I would love it's for snowboard. them. Yo, listen. I, I, I talk to my sister QB all the time. Shout out to so her. So I'm sister saying this to her right now. If she hear it, the fi- I wish they could sit down and come to a common ground. I think if they sat down and, and just did a song or did a project, or even just talked. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Same way I'm saying that now, I'm saying it to Kim so she can hear it, and I'm saying it to Foxy so she can hear it. I'm not afraid to say that, dog. I'm a grown ass man. I'm out here in these trenches by myself, niggas. I've been like that for the last 13, 14 years. Is it an ego thing, C's? Do you think it's well, ego, ego thing with who? Not with me? You, of course. We're not talking. Come on, entrepreneur, motivator. I'm asking you something. Come on. You ask me something. I'm asking you. What you to me? I'm asking you. Are you talking about an ego thing with me or are you talking about no, with them two? Them. Do you think it's, it's I think, ego? I, I think everything with women can become an ego thing. With women. That's women. Men don't have no ego. Me and you can have words with each other, and then we can smack five tomorrow and go, let's, let's play basketball together right now. Let's clear That's this shit fact. up. That's a fact. Women can't go get their hair done together after they curse each other out the next day, or they don't do shit like that. Like, nah, that bitch still says something about me, or she still did this. Women hold shit because they emotional. Men are not mostly attached to nothing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because some women could like each other or be with each other. We don't never think like that, nigga. As long as we know we can put the guns down and put, and put the knives down, we could be cool. Women can't do that, my nigga. No, that bitch is wearing the same outfit I wore. Or she got a hair like me. I thought we was cool. No, no. I don't sit and go, that nigga got the same face as me. His beard like me. Nah, fuck that. Me and him say, we don't deal with each other like that, nigga. We good. You got to bring your gun. I got to bring my gun. I got to bring my niggas. You ain't got to bring your niggas. We good. Men have different understanding. It's not like that. I can't call that. They ain't got to figure that shit out. By the end of the day, dog, my rider is QB, and that's it. I got I to gotta stand on that, but do I have an issue with anybody else? No, I have no issue with Foxy. I f*** with her, I f*** with the fam, I f*** with the team, but I'm Team Kim, bro. Until yeah. they can fix that shit. Now, I, I know you and I would love for them to fix it, is what I'm saying. Well, I, know I, will, I think they, if they get together, they would shut this fucking shit down Facts. if they did do something. Crazy. Let's keep it a buck. If they did do it, anything new or what you think is the hot shit right now, if Kim and Foxy got together and did just one record right now, or just did anything, nigga, mm-hmm. they would be running shit more than niggas running shit right now. And I'm going to keep it a buck. You see when Nas and Jay was beefing, Right? And everybody thought Jay was going to diss Nas at that show, and he brung Nas out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And look how their relationship been from there. Both of these niggas filthy right. rich, getting money right now, and doing them. And remember when Jay did that Art of War shit? He's like, everybody thought he's going, he's going to come out and diss Nas. He actually brung Nas out. Look at them now, dog. Two of the biggest niggas in the world right now, getting money, fucking filming shows for Showtime and mm-hmm. fucking title like. Nah, man, ain't nothing like putting that shit together, dog, and, and getting some money. 
Especially as you're getting older, dog. Life is short, my nigga. Every day you wake up, you're a day closer to dying, my nigga. You gonna be out here beefing with everybody? So, and doing all that corny shit? I'm not with that, dog. I don't. So, when it, when it rolls out into something big, like, <clears throat> no point intended, like what happened at Hot 97, right? You wasn't there at that time. You wasn't there. Were you there what? at Hot 97? Were you there at Hot 97 when that crazy stuff happened? What, with the shootout? Yeah, were you there? Yeah, I was there. So don't ask me that, nigga. You know that. No, I know. I'm just saying. I gotta get I, you to see. See now, you want me to start talking to you like this, now? No, no. See, don't be rude. I'm, I'm not being I'm rude. I'm just, see, oh, are you asking me something? You, you ain't know I that. Knew, I knew you was there. I know you was there, but I have to ease. <laughs> pause. I have to ease it in with you. Pause. I know. I know. You know why? Because you're very. You got like slow machine, ADT, uh, uh, all the <laughs> like. I got, <laughs> I got to crack the code. You got the, the, the bank vault. Come on. So I know, I, I know you was there. But but what I'm saying is that yeah. <laughs> don't, don't put me, what are you doing? Come on. I'm talking to you. Take that off the I'm plate. listening to you, dog. Yeah. So I know you was there. Uh, so <laughs> why are you talking like that? Why are you talking? Why are you doing that? I'm I'm listening to you, fam. Can you tell me from your perspective, like that day going outside mm -hmm. and it getting messy, was there any conversation had? Or it just got messy in your opinion. Say it again. <laughs> See, can you please take the rag off your face and look at me? Yeah, what would you say? That day. It's hot. It's very, don't do that. It's Come all right. On. I'm saying that joint. Come on, man. That day. Mm -hmm. That was a, a crazy day. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Like, can you see in slow motion how things transpired? Yeah. Nah, it wasn't supposed to happen the way it happened. It's not how it's supposed to happen. We came here to do an interview. And some people, like, the people that we had issues with at that time, the radio station set it up for them to come there before us. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's just how that happened. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think the radio station should have knew that, you know, because it was like a promo for an album at that time, and they knew the history of what was going on because it was these records out. And they, I, I just felt like, honestly, I felt like the station was responsible for that. And mm. I'm not going to say the name, but I felt like they knew what was going on, and I didn't think they thought it was going to go down the way it went down. They didn't think it was gonna go down like that, like in, you know. I've been in that building, so I know the end. Was it like yeah. scurrying outside, trying to get everybody try to get through the door? Like, was it like scurry? Or it everybody? wasn't even done. Everything happened outside. It was nothing inside the building. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, I'm just saying. it was outside in the. So Sunday. was it a humble like you walked in and saw each other? Like, you saw you like nah, we was outside and we just had it was it was just a conversation, and it, the conversation just kind of just like, escalated. Not with us. It was a conversation with other people that was around the situation. And we just happened to be courtside. Like, I'm sitting here, we watching y'all, and the situation's going down where you at. And we were just here. We didn't have nothing to do with nothing. That's how that situation happened. Respect. But it wasn't nothing crazy. It was nothing, no, no, nothing crazy. No type of drama, no cool. Because everybody is all love and family right now, but... Salute, yeah. yeah. It happened like that. We, 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 we just caught side, and we just saw something that we shouldn't have saw, and everybody kind of, like, got, got around it. Do you think it could have been avoided? <laughs> A lot of things could always be avoided through communication. So ego, we go back to ego. Pride, because ego and pride and, you know... Do you think they could have been avoided that day, like, you know, like, or sometimes we choose this route to mind our business and stand on court side? Yeah, but it was hard to do that in that type of situation. But, yeah, it could Got have it. definitely been avoided if we would have stepped up and, and been in our right mind. But us as just being who we are, we was just riding for our situations and, you know, standing tall for our shit. We didn't, we, we, we kind of overlooked that, you know what I mean? Now we can sit back and talk about that now, you know, like I... I sit with them, you know, shout out to Nori, shout out to Capone. We all sit together, we chill, we kick it. Now, that would be sitting back like, yo, what would the
what he was doing, but we ain't know no better. Cause we both was just like, hey, this is what I thought it was, and I was riding here, and this is what he thought it was, and they was riding for there. And Cause they were so so so, but, but then that's why when I asked you the situation, it derived from the two. You know what I mean. But to this day, we don't. But we don't just know. riding, just riding blindly. Let me put on a mask, a, a blindfold, and let me just. That's it. Yeah, but you we know, you know. I'm gonna respect you and keep it moving. But you know, I know you know. Nah, it, I, I, see, Come on, people don't disrespect me. See, you not even respect me for telling you the truth. I, I, I am respecting you. you. I'm, I'm, I'm trolling it took you. You four years to get me here, right? I'm not gonna sit here and say you no bullshit. Hey, why you had to say that, bro? Why you had to say that, bro? Because you've been saying That's everything rude, else. Oh man, why you had to play me like that? Yeah, put that back on, man. Damn. <laughs> I just, it, it goes to the point to say that, you know, when something like that big, big happened, don't you I'll, sit down and like, yo, damn, what, where that, don't, wouldn't you ask if something like that happened and a, a domino effect and a, and a snowball rolling? Like, where the hell did it? If you really think about it, if you're really not aware of it, if you're really not aware of what transpired between the two legends, it's just the blind leading the blind. Respect. It is. I don't know what happened. I'm just riding. What answer? Let me ask you something. What I'm answer? not looking for no answer. I respect what you said. I'm just saying. You got to ask. I'm going to ask her. I agree. I won't ask her. Nah. I asked her one time. And I asked her one time. And none of them had an answer. And to this day, you got to ask them. Hey, you want me to ask the lady? I'm not playing around with her, man. I'm not. I don't want no people. You could get it. Why you want to play with me? Because I'm not. No, listen. You get away with it. She ain't going to play with me. Why you making me feel good so I want to play with them when you want to play me and what? you have a friendship. What? Volleyball? We have a friendship. Well, but what I'm saying Soccer? is that everybody what? that watched flip videos, she's like, I'm not playing with him. He asked me that. I'm like, I don't want nobody turning up. She's a legend. I'm not like, okay. I respect her. Both of them. I get it. But you think you'll be out your way by ask? You can ask them. Because I, 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 I want to know. And what, I don't know. In what type of way? Like, I should be like, oh, how you doing? Like, should I be, or should I be straight up? Like, yo, what's up, man? What happened? Like, should I be cool like that? Like, like, cause you know, Brooklyn people take it. Like, Who you talking to? I don't want to get that. Like, why I feel are you talking like you like should that? ask the way you want to ask it. And I so think... I should be myself. Like, yo, listen, listen. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm close up like like this. Yo, Kim, listen. Stop playing, man. Like all these time, all these years, you've been Kim, playing around. Exactly. That when you was friends with her, yeah. y'all friends. What's up? Where that derived from? Cause what happened to the friendship? Why the friendship go out the window? And I, you gotta ask them that. And not yo, is that is that good? Is that good? Yeah. I, I think that's great. Bro. You hired me for yeah, look, look, I, <laughs> Why you say that? No? <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something. I'm just here. No, <laughs> why you? No, let me tell you something. Kim is a real one. <laughs> nah, yo, QB is a real one. She no, not, I heard no. She solid. might say some shit to you. She going solid. I oh, heard. nah, she solid. gonna definitely come right back she's at not you. Playing. Yeah, I heard, like, I heard. But she gonna sit there and go. You know what? Yeah, she might. Nigga, come here. I'm gonna tell you. Like, or she might not. But I, I really don't think it's really nothing like that. I just think it's just a. A woman thing. It's competition. A, it's a respect thing. It's a competition thing. It's really like, you no, know, they ain't fight. They ain't never slap hands with each other. Like, it's really, n I don't know. But you know what? I didn't care to know. I made sure I just like, you know, what do that did, benefit with me, with me knowing why it is? At the do, end of the day, I, I ride for this right here. And that's just point blank simple. And period. But at the end of the day, too, I'm Brooklyn. I'm very respectful. I'm acceptable. I grew up to be who I am. And I grew into my shell. Facts. And I f with her too. You know what I'm saying? Foxy. That's our history, though. I'm a, I'm a Brooklyn nigga. Do you think that in the record, Bang Bang, <clears throat> it was shots thrown at Kim for real? That's how the whole shit started. Ah. No, but I didn't say that. That was a trap. That's what we call a trap. We got him. How? Hey, everybody come out the cameras. We got him. <laughs> we got you. We got you. You try to act like you didn't know. Huh? We got him. <laughs> We got, flip, flip, we got him, flip, flip, we got him. That's my man. We got him. Yo, why? Yo, why? Yo, we got him. Cha cha. Yeah, yeah. Yo, why are you stupid. like this? Bro? You know, what's wrong? <laughs> but that's He's not. Stupid, no, bro. that's not the. It's not the beef, bro. Yo, stop. Why are you like you that? You like that? You like that? You like got me, damn flip, got me. He got me. He got you. Yeah, yeah. That's what it started for. You thought I didn't no, know. No, it's not. Yo, bro. It's not. Yeah. You thought I didn't know about Bang Bang. I'm so tired of you already right now. You know, like, see, <laughs> like, now you feel you got, I uh, got him now. He's, no, it's not. We all know that. That's how the whole shit started with the Hot 97 shit. Got it, got of, it. Because of that record. I don't think that that's their issue. It's issues, but like, it's something before that. That's later. Oh. 
I don't know what's what. I don't think it was that, but I think that's what <coughs> triggered it. But what came out before? Bang Bang or did Quiet Storm come out before that? Because Foxy felt like that verse was about her. Was it? <laughs> Ask you a question. What record came out first, nigga? Because now I got one. Ah! <laughs> you get ah! Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! Don't do that. Don't right, do that. see? Come on, do no, no. Violate, I'm man. asking you. I don't I'm know. I'm going to find out. See, I don't get into women. All Listen, right, just don't, don't make I'm it about... I'm you something. Don't make it about a woman thing because that devalues the argument. Because, of course, as men, we're not supposed to be talking about women gossip. That's the principle. But you're devaluing the argument and not looking at the pinpoint yo, yo, of two yo, friends, yo. legends, yo, that grew up and that separated. Let's keep it on that. Not the fact yeah. that they're women. You are mean, sir. You are depreciating the value of women and the work that they put in here. You, sir, are wrong. You are wrong, sir. Don't oh, devalue man. them. Put your Say lights again. up. Ben, stop. Say it again. Say it one more time. <laughs> Don't talk to me with that mask on. With that drag on. Stop. <laughs> Look at Quiet Stone came out what? 9 9? Well, I think the album came out of 9 9. When Bang Bang came out. Hold on. Not, what, what, somebody help me. Come on, flip me. You know. Somebody. Flip on that. They're not going to do it. When Bang Bang came I'm out. I'm about to find out right now. G Money, hold me down, G. Damn, man. 2000. 2000. And Quiet. All right, so maybe. So Quiet Stone was first. Because Bang Bang mm. came out. But, Capone Noriega, the album is a reunion. Bang Bang came out of 2000. So Quiet Storm. Oh, he got to talk to Kim now. Uh oh. <laughs> I have my vision, my vision. Oh, he's a Yo, you uh, fucking nut. Yo, that's why I love you, though. What, what line do you think that, that was, she took as a shot? What line well, do you no, think? I, I don't think it was no line. Just the way Kim used to talk. Like, you know, like she was just very, just like, nigga, nobody. We know the lyrics, man. Come on, what line, bro? Come on, Come on don't, don't do, do that. that. Don't do that. You're not going to do that to me, right? You know, the, stop, see, stop what line doing you doing may think that might have got offensive? No line. Kim talked, Kim just talked like that. She was just, she talked like that all day, every day. Okay, That's just who she was. Again. I ain't right. Uh, uh. Hot damn hoe, here we go again. Uh -huh. Light as a rock, bitch, hard as a cock. Bitch, you, you, want, you want to recite it again? Yeah. In the parking rock. lot. Like the spark a lot. Come on. My book, no style, speak for itself. Say like it, a nigga. wrestler. Look at my belt. Yo, come on, come on. Go. Come on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm a leader. Y'all want some followers? Come on in this game. What's the bottom? Oh! Really, some to get to the top. I put 100% in every line I drop. Now, hold on, yeah, we got to, oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drop Wait. it. Uh, that could yeah. be a shot. That could. <laughs> it could be a. I got to I gotta, I gotta research that. <laughs> that on some model. Let me see if Foxy Brown came on some model and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, stop, bro. Stop, so Foxy stop, bro. Oh, was Foxy, did Foxy do modeling before the whole record hit? If, I, that, if Foxy did modeling, if you know that, then that's that's a shot. You know, some modeling I don't know shit. That. I don't, I don't Coming know shit, bro. I don't know shit, oh, though. Shit. And you keep putting that fucking laptop down. Like you, this is, you mean you cutting the world off right now? You're like, all right. Like, 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 ah. Then you put it back up like, all right. But how can some... We're going to move. Let's move on. Listen, that's, no, no, that's just yeah, like... You're right, you're right. Yo, listen. That's just some stuff for them. And I would really love for them to really, like, just sit down. Like, honestly, I, I, I had a conversation with Kim about this, too. That's my sis. Ride or die. But when we listen to Ether, that shit was straight. Like, they, they so... That, like, these ladies are legends, man. Like, now you got me thinking, like, man, huh? Damn. I had to ask Foxy, because I be DMing her. Speak to her. She's a very nice lady. Yeah, yeah, shout out Foxy, to, cool people. Yeah, yeah, shout out to a like very now. wonderful... And, and I met Kim before, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always... She's, she's official, like... And they're the ones that really came from, like, the ever outside yeah, of, like... Yeah, facts. Shout out to like, them. Like, before them, outside the Queen Latifahs, the lights in them, and, mm -hmm. like, you know, they the ones that carry on that 90s generation. No, that's a fact. It's, it's, it's sad when you see shit like that type of shit, but people mm -hmm. don't know. It's, it's like, inner shit with them, and as a man, you don't choose to get in between that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you stand tall for what you stand tall for, and that's just how it works for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But QB, no... I can see a foxy and I'm gonna speak to her. I'm gonna be peaceful. And she know that. And I'm saying that right now on here. And QB, no. That's my sister. That's my dad. Nigga, when it comes to anything, 
when it comes to that, I'm for her. At the end of the day, too, I'm for the culture. I'm for the love. I want to see everybody come together and make this shit right. Because that's how, that's how we get right. Mm -hmm. You bring everybody together, man. Let's get this real money. Let's, get, let's, let's, let's shock the world and do some shit. But I don't know what they have until they Respect. ready to fix that. I can't force it. Oh, so we're going to wait till, 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 till the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's too long. Oh, that's you? Come on. You, uh, you want to help me? Of course I will. But you, you the type of nigga that disappear. <laughs> you disappear. They get cool. I see you like, yo. We're flipping in the crib. Like, I'll just talk to C's. I want to make it work. You want you want you want me to help you make it work. I will do that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got we got to talk behind the scenes to see because because who's going to be the spokesperson? Oh, look, look, hold on. This is where I'm. A, this is where we we test the entrepreneurship. Me, you, 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 I'm the spokesperson. We could be the spokesperson. We could do it Ooh. together. I'm not doing that. What? When did um? Let's move on because ask them, ask your peoples and your core and your base what they think it'd take for us to get that to make it happen. I just want them to have a conversation. That's it. I think communication is everything. I think once they can sit down and they voice their opinions about how they feel about each other, what they thought was right, what they thought was wrong. Man, that's twenty. Good, 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 good. Everything good. is communication, though. You gotta years. talk. That's twenty-two years. Yo, I had I had problems with a lot of rappers at one point in time, and I'm cool with everybody. I was wondering, like, I, I could talk about Nori and Capone, but, like, you understand the situation, yeah. Hot Nine. They're my guys right now. Like, I fuck with Nori hard body. I fuck with Capone. They're my brothers. Me and Mano had situations. I fuck with Mano. That's Mano. my brother. Yeah, love him. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, no, I done did this already. Me and Kim had situations. Man. That's my sister. Got it. Right now, you get what I'm saying? So I know how to... Communicate. You gotta talk to people, dog. Voice your opinion. Let them know how you feel. You, you gotta be ready to embrace it too. Whatever they gonna tell you, you gotta be ready to embrace it. It may curse me out because uh, uh, you may get the love. I may get violated, bro. Who you think you are? You troll type nigga. Look at my video. Like, man, they try to troll and play around. I don't want to. No, but you're not gonna run up on nobody. No, 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 no. Yeah, nah, you're nah. not gonna jump on them. You're not gonna smack their food out their hand. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna come talk to them, right? I Are we gonna go talk to people? You can't. You can't bring me with you somewhere to go talk to nah, somebody. You gonna jump on them? No, I'm not playing gonna, with them. I, you're not gonna I, I, do I that, right? Them. No, no, I know way, what you no do. Way. You queens flip, right? You flip, right? That's what you do, right? I, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw. I saw real quick, and and I know you don't. You don't. <clears throat> I respect you, so I know you know you don't talk about this too much, and you you move on from this. Hmm? I saw. You, I did see that you apologized to Kim, um, for you know whatever y'all went through. And stuff like I that. ain't apologize to her for no court shit. So let's let's make that very clear. Got it. I apologize to her for for being a bad little brother. Had nothing to do with no court shit. Some though. other stuff. Had nothing to do with none of that. We're not gonna touch on that. There you go. When it comes to anything with that, it's paperwork that's public. And we're gonna leave it at that. Respect. I definitely didn't apologize for that. I apologize to her for being a bad little brother to her. <laughs> not for no court shit, no nothing. If I want to think twice about that, it's paperwork there, and we're going to leave it at that. I'm not talking about that. Cool. Um, because you did talk about it before, though. I read an article, and you talked about it. Yeah, a while ago. You did, you did, you did talk about it early. But, early but, 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 but right what now, I just told you, though. Yeah, that's you. Apologize so you, you, you spinning the block again. So, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm just making a U turn because the block, see, right now, is a one way. <laughs> I went up the whole way. I'm but making a U turn see, going the right direction. I just told you, though, my nigga. You but said, again, we're not I want to hear what you got to say. But my thing is this you spoke about it, and I read it, and I understood your, your view on things, and I don't want to get into that. Mm -hmm. When people were attacking you or making fun or trying to do that, did it ever make you question anything or you felt like at that time, because of the scenarios that happened, it happened the way it did? Like, you know, when people start saying stuff and stuff, like, you guys are deep. There's a lot of you guys from Brooklyn, you know, deep, oh, I'll put hands and all that crazy stuff. So when people were starting to play around and, 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 and sort of question who you were at the time, you know, um, did you ever say, I could have went about it different or... You just like it had the chips fell where it had to fall, and I'm pretty the chips sure. fell where it had to fall. Respect. All right, I'll move on. You get what I'm saying? Number and six. everybody that I think probably did say something spent the block. Or I mean, at the end of the day, did they make a U-turn like I did on the one way? Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Everybody that 
I mean, I think people know what it was with me. I, I, I fed into it a part of it because I spoke on it when I shouldn't have spoke. And I had to talk to somebody about that one time. They was like, yo, you add on to shit when you, you don't. You give it credence, yeah. Yeah, if, if you know that's not what it that. is, don't say nothing. To, let it be. Like, nah, if you know that's not what it is, everybody going to challenge everything you say, dog. Everybody. When you try to prove you're right, somebody will come back with something. Well, you was right about that, but what about this? Next thing you know, you add on to that. You correct that. Somebody, well, what about this? It's, it'll keep going. At the end of the day, if you know who you are, you know what you stand for, you know what you did, you got to leave it at that, dog. But do you Some think it's a hip-hop world, see? Do you think it's, it's what the environment that hip-hop has presented to, to, to and how that blew up? Do you think that's what it is to push you to, to respond to that? Because I did read that you did a whole joint on that years ago, like talked about it and, and yeah. said how you felt. I just read it. And do you yeah. think that hip-hop made you do that? Explain that. Because you could have left it alone and people could have just assumed. But do you think that the environment that we're in, the hip-hop, hip -hop, the culture? Me, nah, nah, nah. The hood made me do it. The hood. Got it. Well, the hip-hop. Because I wasn't living off of music at that time. Like, I was living in East New York at that time. In the trenches when the shit was going on. But nobody would never speak about that. And then one day, one of my OGs had to tell me, like, yo, stop worrying about what people say. The real people know what it is, and, and you stand on that. That's it. That's why I stopped talking about it. At the end of the day, I will say that to this day. Paperwork is there, and if anybody got an issue, do I hide? Do I, I'm outside all the time, everywhere, right? In my neighborhood every day, I'm all out. It's, but I shouldn't have to say that. At the end of the day, that's my past. And if you feel a way... You can stay away from me, or you feel away, handle your business when you see me. It's, not, it's nothing. I don't want no problems. I don't want no issues. It is what it is, but it's out there. And it, it, it's just that from there. You get what I'm saying? I can't keep addressing that shit. I, I'm done with that type of shit. Like, it, it is what it is. But if you want to know the truth, you can find that truth. It's out there, but at the end of the day, my nigga, what I supposed to do? I got to sit here and wake up every day and try to prove that shit to somebody? Nobody pay my bills? Might make sure I'm good, make sure I'm straight, but at the end of the day, dog, if you want to address me about something, come talk to me like a man. And that's it. When you and Kim spoke, did, did y'all ever, uh, you know when you have conversations, do y'all talk about things and I didn't like this, I didn't like that, or y'all just, things just, like, talk like we never left? Yeah, we fam. We talk about like, everything ain't always just like, like, Peaches and cream, like got it. We fam, like we gonna talk about shit that bothers us, or gotcha. but that's what makes you close with somebody that you could be able to be honest with them and, and be vocal. Do that mean we have to fight each other, or we no. we gonna say something that's gonna make another one to speak to each other no more? No, that's what make you close to somebody, voicing your opinion and being honest with somebody. No, me and her have conversations. Same way I can have conversations with my friends right here. Like, no, nothing changes, dog. We are very. This is an open book here. Not to the world, but to us. No, we don't sugarcoat shit, my nigga. That's what everybody be falling to. That's why everybody be out here, all these new rappers be out here exploiting their friends and exploiting their business to everybody because they don't know how to communicate with each other. They go right to the gram. Me and Kim ain't got to go to the gram and talk about what we just had the conversation we had with each other. Yo, I'm going to get up here and talk to you when I just had a conversation about my mom's with right after this. Like, yo, me and my mom discussed it. No, nigga, that's not for this. But everybody want to be so real. They want to be like, yo, nigga, I'm going through real life shit. I'm going to go. They want to expose the world what they're going through. But they really not going through nothing. These niggas ain't really experiencing no shit. These niggas out here puppies, man. They still peeing on themselves out here. When you was in East New York, were you, were you depressed at that time? Huh? Were you ever depressed? I was never depressed. As long as I had a roof over my head, I was never depressed. I was I could be angry. I could be mad at the position I'm not in, but that was the best thing that happened to me. I worked a nine to five job, nigga, as a rapper at one time. Cause I had to get my fucking parole officer to pay stubs. And I didn't want to pay her. I didn't want to give her I didn't want no promoters to give me no rap money in checks. No, nigga, pay me from the clubs in cash. What was your job? What did you do? I was the fucking transport. I transported cars. I was a porter. I was just calling me a porter. How many years? Did it for two years. So my sister passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2012, and I stopped working there. Facts. I worked a job as a rapper, nigga. That's the first time I valued a dollar. 
because I was getting so much money as a rapper, I never had, I, I felt like I never worked for the money. Rapping on stage, you get the perks of going to fuck a bitch after that, fuck a bitch before that, hang out with these rappers, this rapper, fly on this plane, that plane, jump in this car and that car and all type of shit. Nah, nigga, this shit was a wake up eight in the morning, open the store, <laughs> pull out them cars, drive this car here. I had to I had to work for that too because my situation I was in. I had to get my parole officer pay stubs, like legit pay stubs. So I had to work. But that was the best thing I did for two years in my life. Best thing I ever did in my life. Though. People notice you? Huh? Hell yeah. Yeah. My, my boss was so cool, he used to never let me wear my outfit. He was like, yo, don't wear your outfit. Then one day I was like, nah, I want to put on my outfit. I still got them shits in my closet right now with my government name on them shits. I still got the jacket, the shirt, the pants, the khakis. Were you he never made me wear them. He wouldn't never let me win. I still invite them to my shows and everything. To the point after a year, I didn't have to work no more. He just let me just sit in the job and just chill out. And I got all my other niggas' jobs. Because I, I hire everybody that could work for me when I didn't have to work, when I got to go fly out of town, go do shows, and go do shit. Yo, can you hire my homeboy? You got a license? Next thing you know, I'll put five, six niggas on for my hood. That's what I did, though. I worked their job. I'm not afraid to say that, my nigga. That's the first time I valued a dollar in my life. Because I grew up in this game so young. I was getting money since I was 13 years old. Though. Like legit money. Like legit money. I was actually rapping and doing stuff. And I took that shit for granted. And shit had to spin back around. And I had to learn shit the hard way. I was getting locked up all the time. Getting in fights. Getting caught up. And shit happened. I had to actually work a job. And I should take my boss out to hang out with me. Come on. Come hang out with me and watch me perform. And I had to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and work for him. <laughs> How crazy is that? Crazy. That's the type of shit I went through in my life. That's why I could sit here, kicked up and chill, because I, I feel like I, <clears throat> I overcame a lot of shit in my life. And I just want to just sit here, turn 45 and relax and enjoy shit. And I feel like it's just a lot of shit to come for me. Flip. Refill me, big brother. Damn, I don't think I ever heard about a rapper talk about them work, working a job before. They won't tell you that. Because they, they prideful. They won't tell you that. They probably, some of these niggas probably working right now. They won't tell you that. Mm. They won't tell you. At least I, I'm going to tell you. Because <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with being a buck. You keep it real. Nigga, it's, it's, it's so much shit that'll happen for you. A lot of these rappers out here probably working, probably doing shit, or their friends probably taking care of them, or they probably sitting there with their friends' jewelry on, or sitting in their friends' cars, and mm. they, they, they getting taken care of. Nobody take care of me. I make my own money. I do my own thing. I create my own lane. I got my own team. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, I, and, and that's on the grace of God, and I'm blessed to, and fortunate just to have that. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that in no way, but... A lot of these guys are, are sit here and pump fake shit because they have to live by image, especially with Instagram or this corny shit that go on. Nobody know how to genuinely have friends and, and genuinely do things because everybody trying to live for a moment. I lived the moments already, dog. I'm, I ain't got to do nothing else with this music shit, and I'll be good. Mm. I did a lot of shit already, bro. I'm, I'm cool. I want to make the money now. I want to reap the benefits of every all the hard and hard work I put in, all the grind I put in. Now I want to reap the benefit. It's strictly business for me right now. I don't want to do nothing else but business. So that's why I can sit here and tell you, yo, listen, man, I don't give a fuck about none of that beefing, mm. none of that shit, dog. How can we get some money together? How can we grow together? How can we progress with each other? How can we work for each other? I'm not with all that corny sucker shit. I outlived that shit already, dog. All right. <clears throat> so... I'm gonna go back to the C story now. We, we kind of skipped past a lot of stuff. You know, I, I'm, I'm personally interested in like the, the transition. You know what I'm saying? You went from the hype man to being a G Mafia and an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, take me, take me quickly through that, that process and like you doing your own music and the album, your, your, own, your solo album came out. Like, kind of guide me through that little process real quick. What, doing my album? Well, from you, from you, the whole transition from you, hype man, then G Mafia, then like, you know what I'm saying? You being a big and you touring, then you kind of did your own album. Like, g give me a quick synopsis of like that whole transition. I ain't, I ain't know what I was supposed to be doing. Bi, that was all Bi whole idea. You know what I mean? Like when mm -hmm. we did the whole Junior Mafia project, 
and he was like, everybody was going to do like solo projects and all that. When I used to do shows with him, we used to do like little college shows, right? Like little high school shows and shit yeah. like that. And I used to rock with him. And every time I perform with him, like high school and shit like that, these little girls be going crazy for me before they knew who I was. Like pulling me off the stage. He's like, yo, okay, I'm going to write this little nigga some raps. He's always saying, yo, I'm going to write you some raps. No nigga's going to like you. I want you to wear Tommy Hilfiger. You're going to wear a jam sport every day. You're going to smile every day. And you're going to be this cool little rapper. And he had this... My first album was supposed to be called Puppy Love. Mm. That's, that's my first name. He was going to write the whole album. He was going to get Mace, Kiss, to help him write this whole album. Like, yo, listen, we're going to write a, a whole album on Little C's, and he needed Kiss, and he needed Mace to help me write this album. This is his whole idea for me. This is me not even knowing this shit, just me just performing with him. Right. Right? He already had this idea outside of the mafia stuff, but he knew he needed help with all this stuff he was doing. Like, yo, I, I got my album. I got Kim album. I got this album. He, he doing so much shit, but he has so much shit playing his head. That's the whole thing about how I ever be, even became a rapper, like, in this shit, though. He, he planted me in this shit. Like, this is not something I was sitting around going, damn, B.I. on now. I'm, a, I'm in the house writing raps all day. Like, no, nah, right. I was just... I'm just here, hype man and shit, just doing that. And he had his point in his head about how he wanted to orchestrate shit. So when he died, I was like, damn, who's going to, like, write my raps for me now? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's going to, like, do this shit for me now? Because he was doing that shit for free for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right. So now it's, like, a whole different dynamic now. So now it's, like, my, my, foot, is in my, my foot is in my mouth right now because after he died, it's like, all right, so what's up with that project? Mm. And that's where I got to give all the love and respect to Kim after that because she was like, all right, we're going to still keep that idea going. And she started her whole Queen B record label and she was like, all right, I'm signing you. You're going to be my first <coughs> artist to this shit. Mm. And she was helping me write raps. And, and I was like, all right, I'm done with that. I want to start to write my own raps. And the first rap I wrote was for, for Kelly Price album. I was on her album because she, she, she sung on my album. Mm. And I paid her $5,000. And um, she didn't want to get paid, too. She just, I was like, yo, I got to give you something. She mm -hmm. was going to do it for free. I did that for her. And then in return, she asked me to be on her album. And she was like, yo, I'm going to give you the same thing you gave me. And I was like, damn, all right, 5000 right? I'm like, who going to write this song for me? <laughs> the first person I was going to hit was Mace, because Mace would always help me with some bars and shit like that. And I was like, damn, I need that five. And not like I need it, need it, but I want mm -hmm. the money. Like, fuck that. I'm... I'm gonna try to write my own rap this time. Fuck that. And I just thought about everything Big taught me about writing rhymes. He was like, yo, just, you don't gotta be nice. He was like, yo, just, it's how you say shit. Say it this way, floor it this way. You ain't gotta be the super nicest nigga in the world. Just it's the way you say shit. And one day I, I, I wrote that shit myself. I had two A bars on her song and I played it for Kim and Kim was like, nigga, you wrote that? And I was like, yeah. She was like, nigga, that shit fire. Mm. So I took that verse around the whole crib. Like, everybody here. Nigga was like, yo, nigga, you did that? And I was like, yeah. They was like, nigga, that shit fire. Leave it. And ever since then, that's how I wrote my whole Wonderful World of Season Leo album from there. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, but all it took was somebody to just, like, amp me up. And right, Kim right. was like, nigga, you did that? Nigga, that shit fire. You, you wrote that? I'm like, yeah, did it. And she was like, oh, yeah, keep going. And from there on, that's how I that's started it. to, that's kind of like how I started my whole little career and situation with just like jotting down, like I had to learn how to rap. I, you know, it, it, it took a while too. It, I'm mm -hmm. still learning too. It's like, it's not easy shit to do, my nigga. Especially when you hear how niggas be getting busy out here and all that. You gotta really like, shit ain't no game. Yeah. So speaking of, um, you say you paid Kelly Price $5,000. $5, yeah. Your first album, you had Jay-Z on there. We just had Joe Budden up here. I know it's probably a little before, I think, um, his joint, but say he paid $250,000 for, for a verse. No, he didn't pay it. Jay Z wanted $250,000. Well, he wanted $250,000 for the verse. Yeah. How much he wanted? $250K. For that verse? No, for, for <clears throat> Pump It Up, Joe Budden. So I want to ask you, how, how much did, did they hold the, uh, your record for, you know, for. for... Did it for nothing. Okay. That for the love. That was on love. That's B.I. man. We was, that, that was our fan for real, for real. Mm. That was just a come to the studio. You got, 
you know, when you want somebody to do something for, for you for free, you got to do it when they got free time. Facts. <laughs> You know what I mean? You want something done for free? When that man got free time, he'll do it for you. You can't pressure nobody to do nothing for free for you when you want it done. If you want it done quick, That's hey, can you get this done by me tomorrow? I got 10K for you. Mm -hmm. Then do it. But how can you pressure somebody to do something for free for you? To, like, nah, that's not how it works. Especially you, when this person's a busy person or a high commodity. Like, how you do that? Right, right. Nah, he did that on the love, on the on the strength for me, like pulling, like just pulled up at the studio for me, like, nah, I got you, little bro. Especially he knew my situation, he knew I lost the biggest thing to me, and he knew how B I felt about me. He like, oh nah, I'm not gonna do that. And the record, like nigga, this record is hard too, it's dope. He did the hook and everything for me. Mm. Oh nah, you should do the hook like this. He 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 helped me orchestrate that record. Nah, that was on the house. Love that nigga for life for that. We ain't got to talk to see each other no more in life. Nigga, he done, nah. He done, he stared me. That, that's it. And not knowing what he would be today. You know what I'm saying? Like, not knowing he would be the person he is today. Right. But nah, he showed me that love. And, nah. do, that's how do, I go. Do you remember when Big met him? Huh? You remember when Big met him? Nah, I think Big met him way before me. They went to oh. junior, they went to high school together, Western House. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, like, way before, like, you know, rap stuff. But I'm talking about on, on the rap shit, like, yeah, seeing each other in the Palladium and Tunnel and shit like that. Like, they was cool. They, they used to go at it with each other, too, though. But love. What do you mean go at it? Nigga. There was two of the, nigga, they was both two of the best niggas from Brooklyn. Nigga, you, listen to Brooklyn's finest in love to do. Hmm. Nigga, they want they 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 was going at it. With so each they were throwing shots at each other. But love, not throwing shots like nigga. I'm trying to out low. But these are two of the greatest, like two of the best, two of the dopest niggas in the world. You don't think they going? I wanna out. I, I wanna crush you, nigga. And and that nigga sitting there saying, I right, I gotta I gotta come off. But that's how everybody wanna be. Everybody wanna be number one, bro. Don't think it's just always just love. Like all right, nigga, you the nicest nigga, so I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna be number two today. No, nigga, these niggas both want the hottest verses, nigga. Talking to Mike, You man. get what I'm saying? Lean and shit, man. Fuck your mic. Damn, man. I'm going to ask you a question. Stick on Jay real quick. <clears throat> but, uh, Asking me wild shit, though. I am, I am. Because I, because I got love for you, I, you know, I try to ask you questions in trickery, and it's tricky hot. ways. Here you go with the hot stuff. Here you go. What type of person was Un? Huh? What type of person was Un? Un was a hustler, man. Good people. He was he was dope. He was smart too. He was sharp. Like vision wise, like, you know. Like outside of video shit, like, you know. That nigga was a hustler. He was a street guy, right? And just imagine B I just grabbing him and he just started thinking about these ideas for videos, like. And you, you taking all your effort and putting all your love and, and trust into that shit. Like, this nigga was a street nigga. He, thought, he shot every last video for Junior Mafia. He shot one of the best videos ever in hip-hop, though. Crush on You is forever one of the best videos in hip-hop. He shot that. He shot I Need You Tonight. He shot Player's Anthem. This nigga from the streets, dog. Like, that had no history about this shit, no nothing. Like, and he's like, he's, he's feeding this shit to B.I. And B.I. trust and believe in that shit and let him do that. Because that was B.I. partner. B.I. was the writer and constructor of the music. And Um was the idea and the brains of the ideas. And they went with that shit. And that's how we came about. Point so, blank period, though. Was Un rude in any way? Aggressive in any way? Mean in any way? How? What do you mean? Like, was he beat? Yes, I know. Was he Shook Knight? No, nigga. No, was he a he nice guy? Shook Knight and shit. We, I don't you know what was you asked. Was he asked assertive? I'm just saying. Well, he, no, you know where I'm going with this. Nigga, he was cool. He, you know where I'm going with this. Stop acting oblivious. I don't know what you're going with it. What do you mean? Well, okay, before we talked about Un, who we talked about? Who? Please, spin the block again, dog. Come on, remind, refrain me, remind. Oh, come on, my nigga. <laughs> See, that shit that don't. Were you okay? That shit that got nothing. To, that Were you there? 
What, for that? For any misunderstandings between Unna and No, no I wasn't there no? for that. Okay. No, no. I'm just saying, because was he mean in any way? Did he, you know, did, what, what do you, what, did they have a disagreement? Have you ever seen them have a disagreement? Or like two people well, just who? go their own way? We tore it. Un and Jay Z. I don't know about none of that. How you, see, we weren't, we weren't there for that. I don't even know about that. Oh, know. you didn't know if they had an issue or not? Hell no. Oh, so, oh, got you. So you ain't listening to Ethan and stuff like I that. I don't even know if that should exist, though. I don't know about that. You I, didn't know the, I, can't, I can't speak about something I wasn't around, though. You, you didn't listen you, to Ethan? So, huh? Yeah, I think you put your hat like that. The wind is coming in. Yeah, man, to Ethan, <laughs> you took it from me. I heard Ethan very loud and clear. Ethan was very dope record. Oh, if, so right, so right. what I'm saying is that and shout out. I'm just I just want to know like because Envy told me that I should try to interview on and he's a nice guy and stuff like you that. You should you should. Yeah, he, he got Envy a project coming. Up. He he's working on something really so, special, really epic. You should get him up here. That's what. And Envy, maybe he could tell his story on that. But I just want to know from you when you hear about it in retrospect, everybody should be cool. That's on. That's big man, and then things start to fall. You know who would you think would be the who was the who was the aggressor. Who would be the nice person? Was it really over some type of woman? Is that true? Were you around to see that? Was un a jiggy nigga smashing bitches? Y'all excuse my language. Oh, damn. Yo, you, I didn't should get, you, you, you should get un up here and let Was un, un long dicking somebody and Jay get mad? Yes or no? Yo, why are you even asking me? Like, oh, just the Lord. Exactly. Shout out to Un. I'm just saying, oh, Joe's aside, though. Long. The words you are using are like, you know, That's pause. Pause. I'm just saying. You should have super pause, pause. Pause is there. We can see it on the screen. Listen. He want to sit on the radio. Look, he's standing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the blood flowing. Black to your legs. You want to sit on that radiator. No, you should. Let me tell you something. You should get Un up here because I think Un, he has a lot of history and he's working on something right now that. You know, he's working on a dope ass project right now. So Shout you should get him up here and he's willing to come up here. He wanna tell his story, tell his side. You know what I mean? Without Un, it wouldn't be no Junior Mafia. Without him and BI. But he has history. He has he, let, let him tell his side. You think you that. can set that up? Huh? You think you can set that up for me? For yeah, us? I'll definitely set it up for you. I got because you. Envy called me and said, you should interview Un. Yeah, I definitely I got said, you on that. I'll get you. He's working on something really special, and I don't know if I should mention it, but I will, I will let him talk about it when he come up here. But he got stuff to talk about, and I would love to get him up Did you here. go see him in the hospital? What? <laughs> yo, me and you, yo, do What? Hospital for what? He wasn't even in the hospital. What do you mean? I don't know him about being in no hospital. Hmm. Okay, so. If, if he was in the hospital, no, I didn't. Okay, if he was in the hospital, no, I didn't go see him. I mean, he is responsible for shooting one of the best videos. I'm watching it now. Uh, if it wasn't for Un, there would be no Junior Mafia, like you said. So if he becomes hurt with a wound of stabation. Yo, why you say? Yo, who why, are you right now? A lawyer or you a part? What are you? Cause you the way, he, why you didn't go was, see him in the hospital? Huh? Why you didn't go see him in the hospital? I have a problem I, with that. Why you didn't go make sure he was all right? Or did you go? I didn't even know he was in the hospital. For what? That's he, fire. He, so what did he, he, he went to a basement in Brooklyn and got stitched up? Or some old school mafia shit? Y'all guys taking the junior mafia stuff to another level. <laughs> or some Italian stuff? Hey, stitch him up, Billy. Uh, what, what are we talking about here? <laughs> he gonna put that thing I have a Damn, see? But was it, all right. <sighs> I'm listening to you, though. Yeah, keep was going. It, I'm just saying, like... You hear the stories about it. You hear these things happen over women and stuff. I just want to know if that was true or not. But do you think all these things exist that what you hear if you was there? Do you think, because you hear about it, you think all these things are true? Did anybody ever came up here and gave you full verification that all these things happen? No, they haven't. So, so what are we talking about? So you try to say it's not true. Well, I'm, I'm are not you saying clearing nothing. The room what I'm years? saying to you, you're not answering my question. I did. Do you think everything you hear be the truth? 50-50. So I don't know. You, you expect me to know everything? You think I'd be having my ear to shit like that? Like, you think I'd be just, I, I, I know everything. I think, I, I can explain. I think that, you know, you being around, you being a, 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 a professional. I be minding my business now, Flip. You know that? That's now. We not. This didn't happen now. I was minding my business then, too, though. That's why I don't know a lot of shit. I think that, like. That's why I think, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. 
I could see you. I could see you getting a call and being very emotional. Ah, ah, I can see that. Look, remember this? No, you don't. Look, remember, you get, 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 get back. You really think I like that? I'm but, fun, uh, nigga. I like doing this and look, look. I can see you getting I can see You want to go hang out after this and go get drunk and have fun? I know. I and mean, not and, and forget got, about today. What? That's not water in your cup. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> that's not. Sells the water look like that? No. That's not water. And you didn't even have ice in here for me, so dog. You, I'm not really... Nah. <laughs> See? <laughs> yo, yo, y'all even... I saw what y'all did. You, that? Yo, yo. you mixed that up yo. with Tito's. Oh. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I love you, though, right? You my man, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to move on. I just I just want to know what was your reaction when you heard something like that. But you're right. Nah, should... everybody, yo, listen. All them all them people, yo, dog, I was a kid, though. You got to understand, That's what okay. Understand that. I was a kid. I was young. This all shit that come before me. And I don't speak on shit like that about people or situations. I respect and, that. See. But I will give you the opportunity. I will hit on your on. I want you to come on here and get on this show. He could come up here and tell you his story. Thank you. I'll move on. If you can get a hold. You act. I don't get into that, bro. That's not what we do. As men, we don't do that. How? How, how Dame said that. We don't chatty. Yeah, no chatty, chatty patty. Shout out to no Dame. Chatty patty shit. We don't do no corny shit like that, bro. How, That's why how, I was avoiding you, because I thought you was going to try to put me in a type of predicament for a long time. See, we don't do that. I'm not a chatty patty ass nigga. But you said you was that. young, so it doesn't But apply. I had to do this for you because I fucks with you as a man. You, but you, you my still, guy. You still say you was young, sir, so it doesn't apply. I was young. That's what you said. I'm going by, let's stick to I was young, I don't know what happened. But what I can ask you is that, how hard was it for you and um, Mano to get on the same page after all the... You know, it wasn't hard because we ain't have no real situation. Salute. It wasn't hard. Shout Salute out to, to my brother Mano. It wasn't. Yeah, I love hard. him. I love him to death. Because we 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 ain't have no real bad situation. We had a, we had a situation. When man. I interviewed him and tried to bring in name, he like, man, he's my brother, man. I'm, it's my brother, yeah, dog. Yeah. Like we see each other right now, like, and that's my dog. We check on each other. He hit me. I hit him, and nah. One of my favorite moments is when he was bothering Miss Kim. She gonna watch this. No disrespect, but she was getting um. <laughs> What the war? He kept tapping her. That's funny to me. Was, Who he think he but is? She was so real too. Like tap, like like. Well, like, yeah. Like Who they think they are? You can't do that out of the war. I don't like that. So you can't bring niggas from Brooklyn nowhere. Who they think they are? I got a problem with that video. Why are you guys doing that? Massaging her shoulder. She pushing you away on camera on the news. <laughs> But look, how both, but look how real they both. But they both like yo. Listen, like they Why? both ain't but, giving in. That's. But that's her ego is crazy too. She got, but she don't play. She, yo, Kim on the not, news, she really don't, dog. She really don't. She really don't play. She don't. I thought that was the fun. I said, look at that. Why you bothering? That's that? how I looked at that. I thought it was like the funniest shit. In the yo, world. thank like, you. I'm not the only one. I said, yo, I didn't even the... take that shit no way at all. Like, like, I really just thought, like, yo, that's got to be the funniest shit in the world, though. Like, I, I thought that was like one of the best like moments like of hip hop shit for me. Like on that type of shit, like. Cause I could tell she was try she was still trying to just be her and just smell. Yo, she look, I'm, wa I'm watching. She whispered to him, "F you." I I I, I got caught it. I, no, I slowed that down. I had to because I wanted to read people's <laughs> mind. I slowed it down. I watched her whisper. I watched her push his hand. I watched him be like, "Man, stop playing with me." You know what? It, I watched all that. I read the lips. I slowed it down slowly. <laughs> Who the hell made no thought he was? Who she thinks she is <laughs> on the news? <laughs> An award ceremony. <laughs> People just played off like, okay, white people wouldn't have did that. John and Billy and Stacy. <laughs> pictures. You would never know. It's us. Look, look, Gina, look, look, look. She trying to move. Look, look. She trying to look. She try, look. She touch her neck. Look. <laughs> <laughs> no, people it's actually so. No, that shit's actually funny as hilarious. fuck, though. Like, and it's they don't hilarious as fuck. Look. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> Cause no, nobody no, no. knows what's going on. No. Like they like yo. They got him like, though. I peep everything. I'm like yo, listen. Yo, yo. But that's the listen. Though. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, I respect that. We gonna move. I respect that. I respect. I that. at that time, me and Kim wasn't on our level, and that's what it was. But now I can sit there and watch that and joke about it and be like yo, damn, that shit gotta be funny as fuck. Like, but that's hip hop. That's what that's what it is, though. Like you know, I thought that shit was funny as fuck. I ain't think no way of it. Give us a Mace story that nobody heard before. You said Mace. 
Yeah, you treated me like a groupie just now. Like, give me a mace story. Like, a, you said what? Like me? I smashed maces. Like, give me a mace story. What? What? what, what, what I'm just saying, like you say, he, you know, he would write you lines and stuff like that. You know, what I mean, you also said earlier today that he has the right to say what he's saying about Puff, which showed me some sort of allegiance with you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really good at what mace I do. Mace is my boy. Yeah, of course that's he that's is. My guy. So my give guy. us an untold story. Yeah. I don't really have no like. Flip it's like so that. many like like, like like that's my brother, dog. Me and Mace done, we done did shit together like rocking and performing. You know what I mean? Like you know, doing shit. Uh, I probably would say me going to get him one time from Harlem. You know, like when he first started, got signed to Bad Boy. I used to go pick. I used to go pick Mace up from Uptown and bring him to the crib with Bi. He was just talking about that shit on, on on another podcast show, just saying like how like you know, just being around certain shit, how he got nurtured in school. Like that was my boy, like for real, for real. Like you know what I'm saying? Outside of all that shit, like you know, when he first got signed to Bad Boy, he he, he gravitated to Bi, and then when Bi passed, he really still embraced our relationship, like with us, like you know what I'm saying? Like oh nah, I really fuck with y'all because you know Bi looked out for me so much, like. Nah, season. I know how he felt about you. I know how he felt about the mafia, and that's how he kind of like was still. He still kept that word of like he knew what Bi had planned. Like, yo, Bi wanted me to help you do your album, so he was still on on tap with that shit with me to still help me with my album. You know what I'm saying? Like with my Wonderful World his Leah album, he was still intact with that shit, like helping me put that shit together. That's why I was still on his album. I was on Mace's album on Harlem World. Me, him, and Jay Z with the Cheat on You song, like. No, nigga, that nigga was still keeping in the fish and fucking with me. Like, he was still super sharp and super smart, but he was still appreciative and still down. And he was the loyal nigga to be out and still to the core, but loyal to me, too, at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I stand on shit like that. So, why stories. did. stories. Me and that nigga done did a bunch of shit together. <clears throat> so, why you chose this side just now in the puffy situation? You chose this side earlier today. What? You said he had a right to say that. You chose a side. I chose a side to what? What are you talking about, nigga? Oh, of course. See, that's why we can't talk. Sometimes we're not going to remember. I'm asking Tito's, you. Tito's, I, Tito's. I chose what side? What you mean? I didn't pick no side. You, you said Mace ask. had a right to feel the way he felt. What that's, that got to do with you just asked? What that got to do with the question you just asked me? I can make it, I can make it come together. Because, obviously, you guys are extremely cool. That, and you are a big person on loyalty that you say. Um, you riding with him without probably knowing the story. Riding with him to... Wait, wait. Please, reverse. Come on. What are you trying to say? You now? said earlier today I'm that he had, a, when I, he had a right to feel how he felt about the situation with Puff. Right? Based off of what? Yeah. Inside news, correct? Yeah. Okay, then that's it. Then flip, I got inside news. So when I'm riding, but what you saying? I'm what you mean? Not I'm, riding, no, it's just a terminology. So let me correct riding. Let's take riding out. Please reverse that shit. All right, <clears throat> you agree? Don't be aggressive. Reverse that shit, nigga. Don't do that to me. Why you, I can't? You said go. Why I, I can't? Well, let me take riding off. We don't want to ride dirty. Don't be like that, chameleonaire. You, you better. You be yeah. Better. So I'm not riding. I just what, removed, what you say I, I was riding. I, I see how you look at it. That wasn't my intentions. Meaning that because of Mace is your homie and you were privy to certain information, that you understood why he was feeling the way he felt. Yes. That's it. That's all. Okay. He got the right to say yeah. What I got to do with that? When you say he has the right to say that, you know you putting yourself involved and stuff. You know you really co-signing something. No, I'm not. No. Not in the street. See, just slap somebody. He had a right to do that. I, that means I know I'm aware of some type of shit that transpired that made you attack the man that yeah. I co-sign. You yeah. were aware, yeah. sir. Yeah. Why are you trying sir, to... Sir, you were aware. Yeah, my nigga. We're not trying to cause any trouble. Shout out to Why are you... You were it aware. Don't, but you... Flip, where you from? Queens. You from? Where you from? Queens. What part of Queens? Linden and Farmers. Linden and Farmers? Huh? Where from Linden Farms. I'm not Rosedale. I'm not from Rosedale. I'm from Linden Farms, for real. Linden Farms? Mm hmm. But you fuck with all parts of Queens, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you a question. You fuck with all, right? Like, I, you, or, or you just that? You just down? It's just I Rose? choose to pass on that question. That's how you, that's how you answer no, no, that no. question? No, no, no. I do. I do. I mean, I believe that um, 
Yes, now I do. Yes, I think I think that you know when you get older, you look at things from a different lens. So yes, I, I, Queens, I love so, the borough. So you don't see this. We don't we don't see things from eye to eye. Or? Not when you say so. Not when somebody talks about somebody doing them wrong, and you say that he had a right to say. Are you see, speaking from? A, but I'm saying he has a right to say like. Whatever as a he, human being, whatever he experienced with that man, he has. I don't as know human, what it is. As a, he okay. has the right to say what he said. It don't mean I agree. It don't mean I disagree. But if he's saying that, I'm going to stand with him. You get what I'm saying? Or I'm going to stand with the... You, you, understand what I'm saying. I'm going to understand what he's saying. Not saying I agree. But what I'm saying is, got he got the right to say what he say. What the, who As am a I the, human being. I, I don't... That shit don't fix, pay my bills Straight, or do nothing okay. for me. But if that man want to speak on that, who am I to say like, all right, that was right or it wasn't cool or it wasn't this and that. But why are you asking me about that? Because I really won't even answer nothing like that or deal with nothing like that because I don't care what that man do. At the end of the day, if, Mace, if that's how Mace felt, Mace got the right to say what he want to say. Got it. Puff can get on tomorrow and do an interview right now and say the same shit about Mace tomorrow. And I'm going to go, well, he got the right to say that. Well, if it wasn't for Puff, I wouldn't be who I am because he, if he wouldn't have signed B.I., I wouldn't be on. You wouldn't be talking to me right now. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Shout out to Puff. But if Puff wanna say, yo, Mace was lying, he a liar, he this and that, this and that. He got the right to say that. I'm not disagreeing to agree or nothing, but if that's how that man feel, you said, what I got to do with that? Nothing. I feel like I'm a jump off in between. I'm not no jump off, nigga. I don't give a fuck what neither one of them say. Honestly. But you asking me my honest opinion, Mace got the right to say what he want to say, and Puff wanna respond to that. Puff got the right to say what he gotta say. You know what I'm saying? Why that gotta do with me? You asking me that shit like I I signed them. Or I'm in the mix of that. Or I run a label. Nigga, you asking me something because I'm sitting here in your seat. You got the chance to ask me that. I'm just telling you, I don't give a fuck how it unfolds. But I fuck with Mace. That's my brother. Fuck with Puff too. That's my brother. But whatever they got going on, they deal with that shit. That's their thing. Do that make sense? It does. What part of Queens you from? Linden and Farmers. Huh? You fuck with all Queens, right? I'm not answering. I answered already. You ain't gonna double ask But, you, but, you but can you see? Can you see where I'm coming from? Why I said that? I didn't mean Rod like part of the drama. I just yeah, in my in my opinion, well, I said I'm that. Well, against none of that. That's C's not, probably not my business. Respect, not and I respect but that. I fuck with I, I fuck with him. I got Both history I got with him. I got history with him. Say no they more, got no together, more. I don't got nothing to do with that. I wasn't there when they signed contract. I wasn't there when they did none of that. That's nothing to do with me. Respect. When you ask me something, I'm going, I don't know. They got to fix that. But at the end of the day, I fuck with him and I fuck with him. And we all, at one point, was a happy family and <laughs> doing great things. And it's not like that no more, but that's something that they got to come to ground to. Wow. Troublemaker? I am not a troublemaker. I just choose and ask the question a different way so you can so understand. Good. And I, I bring it. it back. I love it. Can I ask you this question right here? Um, Faith and Big, right? You was around when they did get... Damn, man. <laughs> Y'all make it all up them all. Come on. All right, I'm a... I can't ask no questions, C's. <laughs> C's and <laughs> Oh, my God. G, what? Yeah, ask it, though. Get Faith and Big. Man, I, 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 I digress. I digress. No, get it. I hear you. How you gonna fall asleep on my couch, homie? <laughs> that gotta be. My, I, I don't want to talk to. I don't want to talk to a nigga laying down sleeping. That's rude. I'm listening to you. Get nah, it. nah. You gotta acknowledge me. I'm listening to you. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I'm not gonna ask a question about faith and big. I just want to. No, no, yeah, yeah, you can ask that. No, I'm just saying, like, yeah, no, nah. it's bullshit. What, what was the relationship crazy? Was it was it was that a healthy? You know, in these days, hold on, can you pull the mic a little closer? I just want you, I want to hear you with this one, please. What? Can you pull big the device. Relationship? No, pull the device closer to you. The mic. Pause. The, oh. As I said, these days, you know, we 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 think about we listen about toxic toxicity. Mental health, being in something, getting away from something. 
um, trauma bonding, all these new words and blah, 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 blah. Do you think at any point, you know, was faith in big relationship left? Was it a healthy one? Yeah. Respect. It was how, that was young, dog. It's not that you can't you can't see. You see, that's a double way answer. Healthy and young could young could be taken from a different retro. You can't say that. I'm about to get you. I don't want I'm just trying to let you answer the question. Ask faith. Oh mm. see with the I know you was around a couple of times when they was arguing. I know, I know. I you, wasn't around. You didn't leave the house. I heard the stories already. I wasn't around. I used to have mad action, dog. I was I was very active. So you I never was in the crib. You I never had the cars. I had, nah, you I never spent sure. the night at Faith in Big Crib. Yeah. I heard they had a exactly. crib in um in the city. You know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I used to be there. Ah, oh, you thought I ain't but no. I, oh, you thought I ain't no, nigga. But, 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 but I, I, I had a little thing that was on the same floor. Down the hall. Was, yeah. I knew you were going to say that. I thought you were going to say the floor below. But I'm not lying. What floor is on the fifth too. floor? Nah, it was, she was one of them big like buildings up on, on, I know. on the west side. Yeah, so it was a bit like. I think Jones lived in that building too, Miss Jones, somewhere. It was a bunch of things. That, it, yeah, dog. I was active. I, I had to deal with like. But man. you slept over there a couple of times. Did you any? Yeah. Did you ever hear any arguments? Everybody argued, dog. Was it held? Was faith? Mm, I, I'm a chair. Faith right. was a gangster. Really? Faith that was, was, was official like that. Where's she from? She's from the bricks. Brick City, New Jersey. She was a, like she didn't play for real. Definitely ain't play. Facts. She put hands on Biggie? What's <laughs> 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 oh, my last question? She put hands on him? <laughs> keep it real. Keep it real. Because nah, they, they going to play my man. Yo, why you? Did she put hands on my Can man? Can I lay down? Can I lay down? No, nah, no, nah, just answer. Keep it real. Can I lay down? I saw... <laughs> Can I lay down? No, nah, please, please don't. Please don't. I can't. Did she violate my man? Did she th like, when you say she a gangster, what cat? Like, she put hands on my man. What category do you put her in? Because there's two types of... She's official, meaning that she took what came with it. She held it down. She ain't. She's solid. Or she's not playing. She's putting hands. She's putting feet on everything and squashing it. Like, what type of gangster category? What category are we putting it in? Kind of both. She put hands on big. I, got, I don't like that. I got to talk to her about that. No. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's toxic. You can't blame her being young faith. I love you. <laughs> Nah, not in that. No, see, she put no, hands on him. No, 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 no. You so no, you take that back? No. <laughs> yo, yo, you can't, you can't do shit like that, bro. You can't. When I say something to you, you can't try to reverse it and make it seem like <laughs> it's something more. No, you I'm not like people. Either. People be in relationships and True. you light tap and you fuck. That. Don't go outside right now. You grab. Stop. No, it's not no. You just answered me. Thank you. So she didn't stop, want to go outside. Stop, nigga. She like, grabbed stop. the coochie. Because she ripped stop, the coochie. Stop, nigga. If she like, ripped yo, the is a problem. Bro. If she ripped the coochie. When I interview her, she has to bring a coochie back that she ripped. You was there. I know you was there in the house. Don't lie. Why you? They told me you was there. Somebody said, yo, C's used to be up there. They told me. It was told to me. You was to be they in that building. They told you I was there? You used to be in that building. And what are you in the building doing? You had to be in their house, in the, in the How apartment. How was that somebody else's house? Oh, my. Oh, my God. G, talk to your man, G. <laughs> but you know what? I respect that. You know why? Because I just, we want to learn from people being young in relationships. And, and, and maybe, like, you see, he's going to say, you asked Faith. Yeah, he put his two fingers. You asked Miss Faith that. You know, you think that, you know, when you're young in a relationship and you were a star, you know, where does that put you mentally? What 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 does that have you doing? You exactly. know what I mean? Are you having the same emotions like every other woman? Are the insecurities there? That's why I asked you where it came from. Like, it's not to be funny. Because Big was nah. that dude. Big is that dude. He didn't have uh, to go. He didn't have to go to. Think, think how young they was, though. Like, pull the mic. Was. The mic. <coughs> they tell you pull the mic, yeah. Think about how young we was, though, dog. We was kids. The way I talk about it now... I'm in my 40s, though. Like, That's so it's a, it's a little different. We really didn't know no better. Like, you know, just think about the, the, them times where you're just living, bro. And you don't even know this shit is happening at, at this moment. You don't know you you growing as an artist. Like, you know, you... Big ain't know who... Though, I don't think Big knew how big he was because he didn't care about that shit. 
he was still a nigga pulling up in his neighborhood. He was taking care of niggas. He was still like, just like, he didn't know. We didn't know what we was doing, bro. I, I, I don't know how to explain that to somebody sometime. Where they be like, yo, how you, people come up to me and be like, yo, you know who you are. And I'll be like, yeah, I do. But I don't think I'm what you think I am. Because we never looked at each other like that. Like, I've been, this is how I am. I'm a, I've been just a, a, I like to say a normal guy. But I'm old enough now to know, you know, I know what it is now. Like, mm. you know, a nigga I grew up with is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time. He's my greatest rapper of all time. But he's arguably the greatest rapper of all time outside of me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, 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 it takes you a while to really like to, to soak that shit in and think about that history of the shit you're a part of. Like, because I'm just so used to just us being us and us being just normal. It's a job for me at this point. It's a nine to five to me. Mm -hmm. Go outside, do my shows, get my checks, do my parties, do this and that. Outside this shit, we're going to go to a bar or something. We're going to still be, we're going to still be regular. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't think I'm who I am, but sometimes when I go outside, people let me know who I am. Like, nigga, you ain't no regular nigga, bro. You not, you not, like, you, you see, you know who you are. You little Kim and you little, you Biggie. And I'm like, yo, really? Like, oh, nah, because he, that's who he was. He ain't know who he was. Be obvious, like, yo, I, I know I'm nice. I know I'll get busy, but. Hey, if this shit work, it works. If it don't, nigga, I'm gonna be on the block right now and, and doing what I do. Like he didn't even think about nothing. So it's very hard for me to really like sometimes think outside the box of how you think about that. To me, that's like regular shit that we mm -hmm. That's the regular problem. shit that anybody go through. Like niggas that's, go through that's shit the with their relationships and mm -hmm. friends and mm -hmm. what you it, but it, I know the average shit that you asking about is the shit that I'm like it's it's different now asking about it from that standpoint of it, Faith and Kim and this. He and didn't have to go that. to Baltimore to see Charlie neither. She's fire, fire. He had to. He had him. He had him. Shout out to Charlie too. That's that's my fam. Shout out to Charlie. He Baltimore had him. School. What you mean? Let me tell you something. I would have. What? What do you mean? She's fire, too, man. He's fire. He's a let... He had him. 24 years old, too. He was only 24. Did they have a close back? No, 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 I'm, I'm going to let it go. You know, I'm going to ask more questions, man. Sexy women, I'm going to ask questions. They fire. They can rap. They can sing. I want to know if they cross paths. <laughs> Kim can rap, too. I don't know what that's about. I'm just throwing mad stuff out there. Just see if you can catch it or let it go. Let it fly. But, you know, things, um, a lot of things transpired in life. And he didn't have to go to Baltimore to see Charlie or to have Charlie. Charlie lived in Philly, though. No. I know, but Bo you don't get it. Charlie it's, Baltimore, but she lived in Philly. I know. I'm just, it's, it's, I'm just trying to be I, funny. I, I, I Why you had to butcher my joke? I, I, I know. I'm just letting you know. So Charlie's family, too. Can you set up a little bit, bro? Just, huh? set, up a little, just set up a little bit for me. Charlie fam. Everybody fam to me. Salute. Everybody fan, all of them fuck with me. And I fuck with all of them. And everybody know that too. Did Big love them? Yes, he did. All of them? Yeah. So he was like Bob Marley. Yeah, He's Jamaican. He, Bob Marley loved each, you know. And Big was 100% Jamaican too. I know. Yeah. Hear the children crying. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the children crying. <laughs> Bob Marley. Hold on. He, he loved them. No, but you could say he loved, like, you should say he loved his women. Definitely. Yeah, facts. That's fire. I ain't gonna lie. What I'm you want me to tell you? Yeah, he did. He, so, he showed that, right? Did any of them say anything bad about him? No. Uh, not right? That. Did anybody? Charlie? No. Kim? The Faith? No. No. Anybody? They loved him, no. Right? Nobody said that, right? No. Okay. Can we rest our case? We can rest our case. However, I, I stayed Coogee down to the side. <laughs> <laughs> he had him. Light, bright. Like but he had he, everything, man. Yo, he um, was a, but he was a, he was a vibe. He was the energy, like dog. Energy. That just who B.I. was. He had him, G. He had him. Imagine. Y'all wish. With the hair yo. shades and red, all type of crazy. They got one with blonde hair. All type of crazy. You have all type of flavors. I Vanilla ice cream, fat. chocolate deluxe. When I was young, I wanted to be fat. 
Wanted to be, I wanted to be like him. I really did. I oh, thought yeah. he was the coolest nigga in the world. I just, yeah. I really wanted to be everything he was, bro. Like, I, I, I really like etch and sketch everything he was about. I wanted to be him. If I could be tall and 6'2", 300 pounds, I wanted to be that because he was the coolest nigga in the world. And I watched people go crazy for him. I watched how he just embraced everybody, how everybody loved him. This ain't no facade, nigga. The way they talk about B.I. out here, that, that's who he was in real life. I really wanted to be everything he was. I wish I could have been his height. I had the weight he had. Like, but you know what? I, I do got that because he taught me everything. I knew you want, you want, little bro, you got it. He taught me everything. See, you know, all his hoes go to my dough. Then they go to his flow to fuck some up. Look at he, he rapped about our real life. Iced out, lights out, me and Caesar Leo. Getting head for some chick he know. But he rapped about it, bro. He solidified how he felt about me. I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. You get what I'm saying? Got it. I'm totally solidified with that. He made it self-explanatory to the whole world. Do I have to talk about this? I don't. A 13 year old, he was schooling. I know how the game works. I know how it goes. I'm not, and I'm, and I'm, I'm grateful. And I'm thankful, but one thing about me, whatever he loved, I just try to make sure I keep that shit intact. That's it. It's nothing else, bro. Except for Foxy. Nah, it's a joke. It's, I, I'm playing. I'm playing. It was a joke. Foxy don't got no part to do with that side just, of it. Like, nah, with I, you. I, I know, get what you're saying. I, I know yeah, you're yeah. joking. Trolling but you. I get what you're saying, but nah. She don't Trolling, got nothing to do with that you. side of I it. I know that. You good? You got you got your get your rocks up? He got everything he know. Look, that's why he said, look, he's sitting back here like, whoa. Yeah. Look, <laughs> you know what they said? Yo, I asked the comments. They said C's don't talk, he's very politically correct. But, you know, shout out to you know, shout out to my uh, co conspirators that got you drunk off the Tito's. <laughs> I was able to get a lot that I wanted. You can't talk, you know. Don't put that on. Yeah, it's on you. It's on you. <laughs> I, I speak like that when I feel like it. Yeah. I appreciate it. No, no, it, it, it means something to me. I, don't I think, think that it's you, like, nah, it was fun. I think it's comfortable. Yeah, salute. I really appreciate that, Seeds. Uh, and you're no, a good guy. You know, you, come bro. on, my nigga. You're my brother. Like me and you, the, like you said, you've been, me and you've been talking for four years, right? Like outside of that, me and knowing you, you've been hitting me for four years. Like, yo, when you, when you gonna do my show? Outside of this, me and you done did other shit. You know what I mean? Like, but nah, I respect it. It's, it's, it's all part of the shit, and it's how we got to get the word out. And the way social media works right now, it's just all about upgrading and elevating. And ain't nothing wrong with telling the true story, real story. You know, but certain things you just can't tell, and some things you can tell. And people got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain things that's just not made to be told, and, and that's what it is, point blank period. But I love this show. I got a chance to take a nap, <laughs> have fun. You gave me my whole little section by myself. Oh my God! I, I thought this was dope. What's next for Lil C's? Uh, I got a documentary coming out. It's called From a Young G's Perspective. Mm. It's gonna talk about my life story from from the very beginning to how I got on. You know, from there on, I got a, a EP coming out called The Heart of the City. Cause Big used to call me his heart, so I'm the heart of the city. If he's the king of New York, I'm the heart of the city. Mm -hmm. So that project coming out with that and um, you know, some more things I can't talk about, you know, some TV, reality show shit, you know. Okay. I'm having fun, Flip. I heard about that already. You did? That's why you're in Miami. Nah, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I live in Miami now, too. Yeah. But I'm, I'm still New York. I'm still Brooklyn for life. I'm still New York for life. But I live in my, I reside in Miami right now, you know, and yeah. We got some stuff coming up in Miami, too. I know. You heard about that? You did? You'll see. <laughs> it's lit, though. You gonna come out, hang out with me? No. You don't, you don't love me, man. Of course I am. Why you ask a rhetorical question? Come on, dog. You came up here, and, and, and you know, you, you know, 
I watch interviews. I, I check them out, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you giving us as much as you know, even though you try to tippy toe around still, but. I got to. I got to. Everybody don't get that, but you my man, though. I fucks with you, though. Appreciate that, bro. I really appreciate not, that. Not with the camera shit. You know, you my nigga, though, on some real shit. I ain't know what you was going to do in here. Good, G? Yeah. You know what? Let me ask you another question. Nah, I'm joking. Oh, yeah, I'm, joking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. See, I don't yeah. like when you hit your man and be like, yeah. So, you be good? We good? We straight? You know what, though? There's something that was on my don't mind. Put, yo, yo, don't flip that. <laughs> yo, that laptop. Yo, flip. Go get that laptop, flip. Ah, chill out, man. Nah, nah. You trying to get flipped to beef with me? He, he, he's on yeah, my side. That's, that's my nigga Brooklyn flip. They be getting y'all mixed up. One really, day, for real? One day you did something somebody, they hit my man. Thinking that Brooklyn flip thing. asked if it was him? They thought he was you. I was like, you're not. It's a difference. It's a Queens flip and it's a Brooklyn flip. Um, A lot of people wanted to know, like, the sessions. Um, this is fans' questions, but they want to know, like, the set... <laughs> The sessions between you, the sessions between Meth and Big, what was it like? And like the sessions, um, the sessions, uh, 112, help me. I don't know what the hell that is. Something about 112, a session with 112, I don't know. Do you remember those sessions, like the studio sessions, how it felt being in there? B.I. did that shit for the you know, fam, team shit. He do his verse, vibe with niggas. We, get, we try to get them niggas high, drink with them. He do his verse, <laughs> he's get hey. It's not no big celebration behind them shits like that, but you know, they want to ask about the him and meth first. I, I don't even think I, 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 I wasn't even there that long for the him and meth first. Like, you know, cause they was in there getting high and just going back and forth with each other. When they did the what out, when they did the what song. Yeah, it, that shit was like regular shit. It's not even nothing to think about. It, it, you know, it wasn't no, no, no stuff like that. It was just like regular. You don't think about that type of stuff. These are just moments that I can live with. These, these ain't no hip-hop moments. Because like, there was no cameras to tape like how it is to tape now today and record it and put it on Worldstar or put it on YouTube or put it on Instagram. Like, nah, we don't got the moments of that type of shit. Like, Because it wasn't that type of shit. Like, we didn't have phones to even tape that shit on phones. It was like, you just got the memories to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Mep just talked about that shit in the interview I just saw him on. It's talking about how, like, him and his first time I watched Big smoke that much weed, the nigga smoked like 30 blunts. Really? Like, and, and, did, and, and they went back, first, you see how that whole song is? They went eight bars for eight bars back to back on three verses. Like, just going back to back. Just, but Meth was like one of B.I.'s favorite artists that he loved. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you gotta think about it. Ready to Die, he had no features on it. The only feature he had on there was Method Man. You ever think about that shit? You listen to Radio Die? Mm. The only artist on that shit outside of B.I. is Method Man. You know that, right? That's he right. had no features on his first album. The only nigga on that shit is Method Man. That's, that's a lot. That says something. How crazy is that, dog? Go back listen to Radio Die right now. You tell me whatever features on it. Not Junior Mafia. Nobody is on that album. Mm. <clears throat> Just the what song and Method Man is on it. But he did have a song with Old Dirty that <coughs> supposed to make the album that didn't make it. Why not? Huh? Why not? Because when when Big first started doing this album and uh, it was on Uptown MCA, Andre Herrero, God Bless the Dead, and then, you know, Puff, they fired Puff, and then Puff had to go get a whole nother deal, and when he went to Arista, they kind of like restructured the whole album because they didn't like all those... Big song, like, he was just making, like, it was just too hardcore, too rugged. They didn't feel like he just didn't have, like, you know, it wasn't too, it wasn't radio enough for them. Like, he has to die X on his album, Old Dirty. Like, it's a bunch of records that didn't make the first Ready to Die album that niggas don't even hear about. One last question from me, and I'm, and I'm Yeah, then I'm out. Yeah. Uh, you don't tell me that you out, man. I'm wrapping it up. Why well, I can't tell you that? Because right, yeah, yeah, yeah. you already said it earlier. Yeah, you set up, still a little, set up a little well, bit. I can't say it now. I feel like the, I feel like the mic line is blocking your face. It, it's distracting me. Damn. You, yo, you. Why you like this, though? What's up with you? You all right? Here we go. And this is going to be a probably a sensitive question. Um, why do you think that they never 
found the killer of Big, in your opinion? They don't give a fuck. Okay. Why you think? Let me ask you that. You ask, I'm, I wasn't don't ask me. I'm, I'm going to ask you the same question. Why you think they ain't find that killer? I don't think they don't care. I, I think they, you know, I think they said it the first time when, when it happened that they say we, you know, the rappers glorify violence. And you know, we, we talk about the 90s now. We're not talking about today. But that shit still exists today. I just think that these niggas don't care. And, um... They don't give a fuck. If they, they feel like if you live by the gun, you die by the gun type of thing. You're talking about it, you're living it, you're rapping it. That's how it happens. And he had it coming for him. Yep, Tupac, he was talking about that. He was he, he knew he was going to die because he made these songs. It, that's how I just feel like that's just how society thinks. And they, you know, I don't know. Okay. I just think that's just, how they, that's just how they feel about it. Like we, you know. But B.I. wasn't predicting about, you know, B.I. wanted to really live. Like, he was trying to live. Tupac was too, but I think they both was trying to call out for help and call out for shit. Think about the songs they was, like, singing about and rapping about. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was, but who was there to, to really school us and, 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 and teach niggas about how to, they ain't want to solve that case. So they ain't give a fuck. They said that's how, that's how we, we predicted it. Well, they was talking about it. B.I.G. was ready to die, right? So he died. Right? Tupac has a song, I Ain't Mad At You. He's rapping in heaven. Yeah, he was already, yeah, they already knew that. Nah, we just talking about how we really feel in life and how we see shit and this is just how shit is, man. We, we, we blessed to make it out and we just telling tales. Like, B.I. used to be like, yo, I'm just telling this shit how, how I think and how people think that's around me. He was just talking for the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just talking. Let niggas know this is how we is. B.I. said, I'm not ready to die. I'm just telling you, every day outside, I go outside and I hustle. I'm risking my life outside because I can get locked up. I can get caught up. I'm not saying I usually, like, I don't want to die. But I'm, I'm going out here, like, and I'm robbing. I'm, you know, I'm doing all this type of shit. I'm risking my life. Like, but I'm going all out because I'm trying to, I'm trying to make money to feed my kids and you know, help my moms, and, you know. So that's how I feel about that type of shit. Don't smile like that, nigga. Do you think in your mind you know who did it? Huh? Do you think in your mind you know who did it? In your mind, like? No. No? All right, cool. Definitely not. If I did, I'd be in jail or I'd be dead. Right. That's it, man. Close this out, man. You want me to close y'all out? You want me to close it out today? You passing it? What? You Rep, I, don't, I don't post for my little C's one time. Let me let you know right out of man. Uh, Shout out to the bro, little C's, man, coming through. Can I lay down? Talking his talk. Give everybody your social media show. one time before we leave. Give me social media. Anything you got you want to plug before we wrap it up? Uh, nah, just look out for the project. I got I got a <coughs> documentary coming out. Shout out to my brother BK Rule. We we do we doing the project. It's called uh, From a Young Jesus Perspective documentary. Look out for the Heart of the City EP. Um, look out for some tour dates and look out for some some reality show. Some Instagram, dope, dope TV shit. Y'all can find me on Instagram, Lil C's. My regular name, I respond to my own shit. Nobody runs my page. Nobody does my shit for me. Uh, if you go on Facebook, it's not, that's not my Facebook, but my Twitter, I run my Twitter. It's uh, twitter.com slash Lil C's. That's me. And uh, Instagram, and um, we're going to keep it going from there, man. And, uh, look out for music and look out for films. And uh, we working out here. That's it. Salute, salute. Shout out to the whole team, man. Shout out to the whole the family you got here, too. Rocking yeah. out, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, Ho. My boy, Flip. Brooklyn Flip. <laughs> it's my friends right here. I can't, I ain't gonna blow them up. Philly Mimi. It's all good. Yeah, you got, do you want something about your shit? You want something about your catering company? She walked in the camera, man. She <laughs> was, we got him and walked right in the camera. Look, tell them about your catering shit. Tell, look, come here. Yeah, so I have, um, I have a 
No, come sit right here. Look, come sit right here. Tell them about your cave and shit. Tell them, man. Look. Hello. <laughs> so Tell my them. name is Mike Davis. I do a plethora of things. Like, I'm a Jane of all trades. See, you hear that, damn it? Damn it. Yeah. Um, I'm about to start a business where um, we have caterers, sure. bartenders, event servers, live cooks, prep cooks. So... That's in the works. <laughs> That's in the works. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cease, get up real quick and let's slide over and talk to the mic. I'm about to get it. No, 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 no. Slide over, slide over. Oh, yeah. Slide it. You got to get the mic so you can hit. All right, all right. Just slide over so you can talk to the mic. Yeah, don't be nervous. Why y'all laughing at her for What's up with y'all, man? Okay, man, talk directly into into the device, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, where are you from? Uh, my nationality or where do I live? N not where you live, where you, nationality. Dominican. I was born and raised here, but I'm Dominican. Born and raised here in New York City? In New York City, yes. You have a strong, like you just came from DR three weeks ago. That's because <laughs> <laughs> that's because I was I was um, born and raised in Inwood, Dykeman, how some people oh. call it. Oh. So I learned English when I was five, basically, because that was all Dominicans in that neighborhood. So you have a catering business, right? Can you tell us the name of it? Can we? Yeah. Well, I can't say the name of it yet. However, it's in the works. Oh, it's in the works. Got yeah. It. So we have um, caterers, we have event servers, we have bartenders, line cooks, prep cooks. So that. So if if people want to holler at you right now, they can. Well, my Instagram handle is um, at by Ceridiar, which is my name backwards. My name is right there. Is I'll spell it out at b y underscore s i r i d i a r. <laughs> yeah. So they could contact me through there. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. No, 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 no. You don't. Mm -mm. Sit right there. Okay. Excuse me. Are you? <laughs> oh, God. Are you, are you nervous? Yes. Can you tell me why? Because I don't, this is not what I usually do. <laughs> what do you usually do? I do catering services, bartending, yeah, event serving, yeah. line cook, prep cook. I also write on my spare time. Write music? I write short poetry haiku. Oh, give me one. <laughs> Let's go. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You can't call it. I stop the poetry. Okay. Oh God. That's not with the poetry thing, bro. All right. So this is called the moth and the phoenix. The who? The moth. The moth. And the phoenix. The moth and the. <laughs> From a moth to a flame to a phoenix of the sun, burned by desires, now I rise from the ashes, no more burning desires, only illuminated passions. Oh, okay, <laughs> say it again. Slow it down. Hold on, slow it down. Because you're talking about from a moth to a phoenix. So a moth transformed into a phoenix. So you know that how they say that moths be through the flames? Just like phoenixes. So hey, hold on, that's Mo the wait, moths can survive fire? <laughs> you see how they say like a moth to the flame? Where phoenixes, um, phoenixes are usually near the sun, right? That's, that's a fact. Okay. But so. I never heard a moth to the flame. I have to research that. Thank you for telling me. You never heard Janet Jackson like a moth to the flame burned by the Zion. I, I, I thought she was saying... Oh. Oh. I didn't know what he was saying. I didn't know something like that. Something like I that. I thought you were saying, but the mom was saying, that's, that's the way. That's the way. Let's go. That's all. I didn't know he was saying. Oh, so, 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 <laughs> That's nice. Um, you, what is your dream? What's your overall dream? My overall dream. Well, I'm a, I'm a person that I always like to work with people, like for the betterment of people, like helping people. So everything that I've done, and even though that is like all over the place, might seem to some people, is is actually like, like as a service to others. So that's Got my it. true passion. Thank you very much. Round of applause for my girl. Um, say your name again. Right there is. Right there is. Round of applause. <laughs> right, right. Right, right. Get out of here, right, right. Get your ass out of here, right, right. You got enough shot. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to right there is. You're the son. 
You gotta say goodnight. Sit down, man. Look at you. Hanging with little. I I mix All right, shout out to C's, man. Shout out to C's, man. Shout out to the whole team. Tati Monday, what up? Nah, shout out to y'all. I'm glad I came on this couch, man, to have fun with y'all. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. I thought it was really dope. Thank you, C's. We need to get some across and uh, flip. You know how much I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Once you spaz out and do all your crazy shit, you know Thank I you. love you, dog. I love you too, man. Official nigga, you made sure I was good. Come on, of man. Course. Anytime, anytime you need me for shit like this, you already know I'm down. Jeez, I'm yeah, man. Follow the pages at DDG Money Official at Queens Flip with a Z at Script Bass. Yeah, see, I tricked you. <laughs> and for the script Have pod, fun. Uh, and we on the cool block. And we're cool what can we do? Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the pages, guys. Yeah, All right, Tati, Tati, Tati Tuesdays. Uh, Shout to Vision and Tire one time, too. Vision, yeah, Vision. Vision and Tire. Chikani, what up? Ooh, Big Queen. Chikani, what up? What's up, boy? I'm um, shout to everybody in the building, man. Brooklyn yeah, Flip. Yeah. Hey, hold on, can I sign up? Please don't interrupt me. I enjoyed this, bro. All right, hold on. Shout out to my man, C's. I appreciate him. Anytime, bro. You know that. I love you, bro. You know, I, I fucks with you, man. We probably did this four years ago. So I mean, let me know this how long your podcast been going on. Huh? It's been going this long? Yes. Congratulations, too. That's a, that's a, that's a long run. You can finish. URLTV.TV. You are real TV that TV. I'm from Queens. I get it. Remember, my bad. Like, nigga, don't tell me get here, my intro. Now we're gonna sit here. Now we're gonna sit here now. You might as well lay that go to sleep. Nah, don't do that. Come on. That's my guy. Hey yo, yeah. listen, remember, lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. If you sick, if you see a nigga like C's on your lawn, put it away, he don't mean no harm. But don't let him in because he'll try to fuck your girl all night long. I'm from Queens. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs>